I wish Punchy wouldn't even deleted that. And Young Savage, you right. You right, bro. But this is the sinful to pee presiding over rebuke and service channel. This is not like the sinful to pee channel. This ain't like the sinful to pee live videos channel. This is not like the sinful to pee Instagram videos channel. This is not like the Game for Ladies channel. This is not like the Blade for Music videos channel. It's like none of those channels. Each channel got different content. You dig? On this channel, anybody can get it. That's why I started it. I said, you know what? It's time for me to give back. I've been having a good time. I've been getting my money. <laughs> I've been having a good time. I've been knocking hoes. I've been having my dough. Now it's time for me to roast these niggas. <laughs> they want to be famous, and I just want to help. <laughs> yeah, I just want to help, man. These niggas want to be famous, and I just want to help. So every struggling YouTuber that's been mentioning my name, you know what I mean? It's time for me to have a little fun. So this is my fun channel. I'm going to give game at the Sinful to P channel. We're going to be over there talking about some pimping, but I want to have fun. They said the people don't really watch the beefs like that. They said that the people don't watch the wars like that. They said that beefing ain't good, you know what I mean, for the YouTube channel. <laughs> but I don't feel the same way. <laughs> I don't feel the same way. No, nah, because I done roasted niggas and still had seven, eight hundred dollar motherfucking nights and shit. You know what I mean, roasting you niggas. Yeah, damn near a thousand dollars just talking shit on niggas. So I can't agree with that. Maybe y'all doing something wrong. I don't mind roasting you motherfuckers while still giving clarity and showing charity at the same motherfucking time. I don't feel bad for putting paint where it ain't and saying what most motherfuckers can't. Yeah, I can take it. I can take it. I've proven that I can take it. But boy, can I dish it. See, most of you niggas, you can't take it. That's your problem. You can dish it, but you can't take it. I can do both. All the videos that people have ever talked on me, you put in Sinful the P name, you will see lies, rumors, half truth, true. You will see all of that. I could have been had them court videos and all of that shit down. I could have been got Keisha from False Alert channel destroyed. I got the power to destroy all of their channels. My channel is bigger than all of them. But I don't move like that. My people don't flag channels. I teach my people that flagging has the spirit of snitching in it. And we gonna deal with that because the uh, Sheep Stay Sleep TV nigga, he put me in a snitching conversation. And I guess the brother had misinterpreted, you know what I mean, what I was saying. But no, brother, I'm not a snitch. I will deal with that. You know what I mean? I've never told on anybody in my life, brother. You know what I mean? Never. You know, don't don't do me. Don't do. I know. I want you guys to get your views. I understand that you're using me to build your channels and you're putting on Oscar Award performances to get melanated pussy and currency. But and get into a continuity of that because people have to understand negativity is just as much of a necessity as positivity. I don't mind you motherfuckers talking about me as long as you're talking about me. You should be talking about me. I don't like when you motherfuckers ain't talking about me. I'm too interesting. I'm too charismatic and magnetic. My life is a movie. You should be talking about me. You shouldn't be talking about your boring ass life. I don't never want you to put your name in the title and talk about you. That's boring. Talk about me, good or bad. Talk about sinful. You know what I mean? I'm that nigga. I'm the truth. I'm the shit. I'm handsome. I'm in shape. I'm intelligent. I got game. I got dimples. I got good dick. I'm pimping like a motherfucker. Talk about sin. Talk about the nigga with the ministry. The nigga with the cold chemistry with the hoe. Talk about that nigga. Don't talk about you. Shit.
Can't get paid off of talking about you with your boring ass life. You better talk about me. Shit, get up in here, man. Hit that like button. As handsome as I am. You better sit up there and talk about my motherfucking fine ass. You better talk about my ups and downs. You understand my, my iniquities, the capacities I'm falling short in. Hey, man, do your thing. Put on your best Oscar Award performance. Deceive these black women into thinking that you really care about kids and that you just out here just fighting wars. You just be outside knocking niggas out. You just be having shootouts with niggas. You know what I mean? About the kids, about other people's kids and shit. You know what I mean? Man, let me, man, let, come on. Even though you don't got no history of helping anybody in your life, you know what I mean? But on YouTube, you could be whoever you want to be. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, get up in here, man. I just want to talk my shit. I know y'all like saying you ain't come in playing no music. You ain't come in playing uh, no music. I didn't need no music. This, the roasting going to be the music. <laughs> Shout out to all the ladies. I appreciate God waking your fine ass up another day. These niggas trying to imagine a world without you. But in all honesty, if it was a world without you, I wouldn't want to exist in that world. You know, you get on my nerves. We go through ups and downs. But I really appreciate the creation, you know what I mean, of you. You know, I don't celebrate holidays, but baby, I celebrate you. You know, I don't celebrate birthdays, but I celebrate you seeing another year. You know, yeah. So, man, shout out to all the ladies in here. You know what I mean? Make sure you get the likes up. I want the notifications to get out there. I want to know it. I want all my accusers from the conscious community, from religiosity, uh, from whatever. Share this. Put it in their comment section. That's what I really want y'all to do. When you put simple the P name in, just scroll down. And all the little hate, dislike video, put my video in their comment section. Give it a balance, because that's what's missing. You got niggas lying, but it's not a balance. They're not giving the truth in totality. Shout out to my mods, man. Support the Prince, Punchy, King Difference, Tony Davis, Turf. You know what I mean? All the niggas that's here. Matter of fact, let me click in this so I can see this shit right quick. And before we get started, grab you some fruit. Get you some water in your body. I hope you worked out this morning. Oh, and shout out to... uh. Carla Craig, I appreciate that 50, baby, on the cash app. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I really, I do. You know, I appreciate that. You know, I, I woke up to it. I was like, damn, okay. You know what I mean? Shout out to Brent. You know what I mean? I woke up for uh, $200. I thought you was doing consultation with me. I said, what time? He's like, no, brother, that's just $200. I just appreciate you doing what you do. It's just good to just wake up to the love. Even though I be acknowledging the hate, I don't want y'all to think that the hate or the negativity is equivalent with the positivity and the love that I receive because it's not. It's nowhere near that level. But at the same time, what I have to teach you guys is the difference between playing street games because the street's really not a game, but you know what I mean? You can play YouTube games to build your platform. Seeing what do you mean by that? So when you see the idiots lying on you and shit like that, don't emotionally react. Always think about how can I use the, I'm always at work. Yeah, you always is, baby. Shout out to you. Appreciate the 20. You know what I mean? Uh, how could I use these niggas? How could I use these niggas as pawns to benefit me? They trying to use me to build their channel. So how could I use these niggas and put myself in a more position so I can have more in possession. How could I use these niggas to be a blessing to me? How could, because I want they following. The little two subscribers that they got, I want that. If it's a bitch, I want that. I want all the bitches from their platform looking at me. They should not be looking at these no content, no game, no, no charisma, having ass niggas. They should be looking at Sinful the P channel. They should subscribe to all my channels. So, you know what I mean? I appreciate you niggas for bringing acknowledgement to me because a lot of people might not knew about me until you said something. So thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, to convey what I'm about to convey. Now, now we got that out the way. Let me get a little swig of this shit right quick. 
You need to get some Fiji water in your life. Hold on. I asked the hoe a few days. This hoe of mine, she might be listening. I said, do your pussy, do your pussy smell like water? She was like, you tell me, you should know. But anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, but let's get to it, man. Um, as you know, you know, man, seeing basically caught the little case in 08 and shit like that. Um, and so recently, Brother Polite, he's called a case, and there's the similarity to it is the age. You know? <clears throat> the age. Seeing what you mean, the age. Brother Polite. Well, excuse me. Tasha K came out recently saying that Brother Polite had went to a party. I mean, excuse me. He went to, uh, I'm not going to even say the woman's name. Went to the, uh, this girl that he was very familiar with. You know what I mean? One of his little brides or whatever. And he goes to the bride's house. The story is weird as fuck. Everybody just went with the story simply because they already had hatred and jealousy for Brother Polite. Some don't have hatred and jealousy. Some genuinely love children. And some genu uh, some actually not testifying. Some of the people are actually testifying. They were molested. So whenever they even hear about any type of molestation, you know what I mean? It just makes them emotionally react immediately. You know what I'm saying? So um, I understand that everybody's not hating. Some people are, but some people are not hating. Some people are sincere. Now... You know what I mean? Brother Polite basically goes over to Lil Bra's house and um, supposedly he was supposed to be, I don't know, man, uh, the story never really added up to me. He was supposed to be like adding, giving counsel or uh, reconciling, you know, something between the daughter and the mama, you know what I mean? And I guess he asked her, I guess they was having some discrepancies, even though Tasha K came back later on and said, that's not true. You know what I mean? But that was the story in the beginning of Brother Polite basically saying, let me just talk to her. And so um, he said, you know, I'm going to just uh, go downstairs with her and we'll just wait for you down, I guess, in the lobby or what have you. And the bride was like, no, 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 no. I'm uh, just stay here. I mean, he's like, man, we just going to be in the lobby waiting on you. And she allowed Brother Polite to leave with her daughter before I go any further. I don't care how you feel about my opinion concerning this situation. I think that mother need her ass whooped. That's just me. That's just me. See, my only my issue with you guys is you hold everybody accountable except the bitch. We going to hold these men accountable, you know what I mean, such as myself, because men to whom much is given much is required and a man should be held accountable but you niggas do not hold these bitches accountable bitches are getting away with murder you hold the dog accountable you hold preachers accountable the pimps the simps the ants the ants the cans the kanks you hold every you hold god accountable for a lot of shit that happened you holding everybody accountable but the bitch that's my problem with you niggas. You will walk all past the bitch and walk right to the nigga. Now, I understand that to whom much is given, much is required. I understand that. And when even when it's her fault, the man should take uh, accountability because he's the man. I understand all of that. But by you guys teaching the mess that you're teaching and saying the things that you're saying, you're basically allowing women to just say and do anything and they don't receive any consequences, any ridicule, no criticism, no nothing. And you have to understand that whenever a person is able to do something without any consequences to their actions that's contrary to right, they're going to keep doing that contrary behavior. You, in, you enable that by not correcting them, by not saying something, by not doing nothing. 
So you might get on, a lot of y'all get on YouTube and you say whatever you want to say, but some of y'all got people doing things in your family, in your community, and you're not saying and doing shit. You are an, an, you are an enabler. You're helping the problem exacerbate by not doing anything, by not saying anything to that individual. You are just as worse as the individual who's committing it. You're not saying and doing anything. So, you know, as far as these bitches is concerned, you know what I mean? Uh, if you look at bo uh, both situations, let's look at both situations. Brother Polite was dealing with a woman that allowed him to leave with her daughter. Now, from the story that was told, it was some uh, alcoholic beverages involved, drugs. I don't know. You know, I don't want to put nothing that ain't there. But it was some substances involved in this. And then, you know, they end up going to a hotel and all of this. But I just want you to know that, you know, we're going to get into all of that. But no, all of this could have been prevented. That's what you're not looking at. All of this could have been prevented if you men were fathers doing what's vital to the title of a father. And if these women that's having these babies would do what was vital to the title of a mother, sheltering your child, protecting your child as if it was jewels and treasures and a blessing from God, because that's what your child should be to you. So as far as the mother is concerned, she allowed Brother Polite to leave with her child. When you look at my situation, I took accountability. I told you, you know what I mean? Even though we're going to deal with the deception that was in my case, the fake ID, we're going to deal with, you know what I mean? Her being nice. We're going to deal with all of that. But the truth of the matter, even in my situation, that girl first date within prostitution was done with her mother. She was prostituting with her mother since the age of 11 years old. You're not looking at these situations. You're looking at the fruit, but you're not investigating and you're not doing any type of communicating, no preaching, no teaching on the root of the problem. And if you never attack the root of the problem, the problem is going to keep on growing. You're not holding these bitches accountable. This shit that y'all got going on, this is some damnable, abominable ass shit. Bitches get, get to get into a continuity of committing this, uh, 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 these abominations because you niggas are just thinking about having fornication with them. So they can just get away with anything. You so pussy minded that you a pussy. And you're not holding these bitches accountable. In both situations... Polite situation, she allowed Brother Polite, not excusing Brother Polite, not making any justifiable, you know, reasons for doing what he allegedly, supposedly did. But reality is that could have been prevented. That mother allowed him, allegedly, to leave with her child. In my situation... Star, she prostituted at the age of 11 with her own mother. She was doing dates with her mother. This wasn't no house on the prairie. This wasn't no, uh, oh my God, <laughs> she was robbed of her innocence. This ain't that. She was already involved with different pimps and things like that prior to me getting involved. Ended up finding out that one that was even speaking on my name, you know what I mean, actually had the bride. And he was knowledgeable, you know what I mean, of her mama and things like that. But due to me being a nigga that I am, you know what I mean, when I'm faced with a situation, I ain't going to speak on nobody else's representation. When the situations come, you don't speak nobody else's name. You don't point no fingers. You just deal with what come. You know what I mean? It, it, it come with this shit. And at that time, you must understand that. Let's just go back, you know, uh, past the girl, the mother. Let's just say that not only was she doing dates with her daughter, I never asked that question. What was the mother doing with her mother? It's just a repeated cycle. She might have been, uh, she might have started with her mother. I don't know. But I do know that, you understand me, she started with her mother. You know? Now, 
as far as in both situations, neither woman, neither mother was held accountable. You don't hear none of these so-called YouTube, none of the people that care about children. You don't see them speaking on none of these women. Why do they keep attacking the men? Because that's what get the views. That's what get the likes. That's what get the super chats. That's what get the melanated pussy in the comment section. So that's why they keep attacking the men. You think I don't know that these niggas is jealous of me? You, know, you don't think that I know that these niggas is jealous of Brother Polite? Let me just speak on Brother Polite for a minute. Let me just keep this real in a nutshell. Because you motherfuckers haven't been speaking this real shit. You just been, been jumping on bandwagons. But before this shit happened, and when Brother Polite was debating on Sonetta's platform, you niggas used, the bitches couldn't even get to P Brother Polite's dick because you motherfuckers was in the line having praise and worship service for Brother Polite. You niggas, the bitches couldn't even get to Brother Polite. You niggas was, bro, Brother Polite was y'all Allah. He was, <laughs> he was God in human form to y'all. When Sonetta was in his anger and he said the things that he said some years back, y'all sat up there and two Sonetta ass up and told Sonetta that he was hating on Polite. All on the man dick. Smacking the man dick all in your face. Got, it, got his dick on your eyelashes. But now all of a sudden, you know what I mean? That's, not, that's just the way of the world. It's earth, wind, and fire. So it's just the way of the world. Niggas was having praise and worship service. Adoration for the man. And now the man got Tasha Caden said something. And now, you know what I mean? Oh, man, I knew he, I knew he was a crook all along. <laughs> you faggot ass niggas. You know what I mean? That's why I tell you, don't take the don't take the world serious. You know, don't allow nobody's opinion to have dominion over you. These people sin just like you. They make mistakes just like you. And a lot of them that's speaking on you have done the same thing or something even worse. Don't, don't, man, don't allow nobody to affect what you think of yourself or anything, man. Hypocrisy at an all-time high. Hit that like button. Yeah, hit that like button. I ain't even really, I haven't even got in yet. Hit that like button. Get all my likes up. Yeah, I want the notifications to get out there. Get it out there. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the share button. If you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, make sure you click on the subscribe and the bell. But I just want to say before I get into uh, the real substance of this message, that Brother Polite has a ministry from God, whether you like him or not. Brother Polite has the gift to teach. Brother Polite has the gift to preach. Brother Polite has a gift of knowledge. The gifts and callings of God are without repentance. Brother Polite has a cold ministry. The man has a, a, a cold mind. He got all of that, right? Follow me. And when he was using his gifts on different platforms, it was okay as long as people was making money. It was okay as long as you niggas get to memorize words that you was mesmerized by that was being conveyed by Brother Polite because the same knowledge that Brother Polite was conveying in videos, you niggas was regurgitating that shit, you understand me, to bitches who wasn't familiar with the information and you was using it to have fornication with these bitches and saying his information as if it was yours. Brother Polite made you niggas money Brother Polite got you niggas pussy. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping this shit all the way 100. That, con that so-called conscious community is just like the church. The so-called conscious community that's really the subconscious community is just like the unconscious black church. Ain't no difference. Only difference is one study more than the other. But as the scripture says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Another scripture say, uh, none is righteous. No, not one. All the same. Just different name. Same game. Now, now that I sat up there and gave him 
his props. Let's deal with some things before I get into the case. Let's compare me and Brother Polite. Um, not being arrogant, but the reason why Brother Polite was, of uh, uh, course, you know, uh, exalted in that field because I'm not in that field. No disrespect to none of the brothers in the conscious community, but if I devoted myself into basically the teachings and I was to convert into that, man, I could have did that shit way better than you niggas. Because that shit that y'all doing, man, that shit, that, that shit Genesis. Y'all not coming with no revelation. You sitting over there regurgitating what Dr. Ben said and, and things like that. And they don't study the teachings of Dr. Ben. So, of course, when you sit up there and speak, they think it's a revelation. But you're really just regurgitating what Dr. Ben and uh, Malachi York then sit up there and said. No new revelations. You're just repeating the teachings. Of, you know what I mean? Some of y'all repeating the teachings, uh, you know what I mean, of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You know what I mean? And then some of y'all taking teachings. You know, because I ain't going to get into that. But when you take certain teachers from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in, in the truth, in totality, you're really taking truth from the Morris Science Temple. But we ain't on that right now. We ain't on that. But um, if that was my thing, I, I just know that I could do that better than you. It's just that the reason why I don't have a mega church making multi- you know, I'm not a multi-millionaire off of teaching and preaching religious shit over the pulpit and being a hypocrite because y'all can't tell the difference between authentic and fraudulent. The reason why I can't do that is because I got to look myself in the motherfucking mirror. So I'm not coming to you as no damn angel. I'm sinful to pee. Look at my name. Look at my spirit. I didn't come to you as a wolf in sheep's clothing. I came to you as sinful. I didn't come to you lying to you, deceiving you, manipulating you. Fuck you. I'm going to come like a man as the truth. And you're going to choose this shit or you're going to move the fuck on. That's how that shit going to be. And if I ever decide to get in spirituality or the so-called conscious community, it's going to be real with me. But as of now, I have no desire to, to do that. I'm in what you call the negative world. The neg I'm negative. I'm a criminal. I'm the, the scum of the earth. I'm the devil in the flesh. All of that shit that you motherfuckers think I am. Yeah, I'm that and some more. I didn't come in deceiving you. Fuck you. Who are you to deceive? Who do you to lie to? And what the fuck was I hiding, bitch, if my name is Philip Gilmore on Facebook? I've been saying my government name since the beginning to the ninth inning. What the fuck was I hiding from you? Whole ass niggas. Bitch, I've been saying 1036381. I've been saying Philip Brandon Gilmore. So what the fuck was I hiding from you niggas? Niggas got the nerve to have exposed and all of this shit in the title. But I understand that's what get the views and shit. But none of you little niggas expose. What the fuck did you expose, ho? Don't you know that it was damn near a year that I spoke on the situation before Keisha even came out? Only thing Keisha did was uh, give you the motherfucking court cases with the shit. I put that out there. They didn't put he didn't put that out. He gave you a visual of what I gave you already in the court, which we're going to basically hear right now, because none of them, they keep walking over certain things to basically fit their false ass narrative. But let's look at me and Brother Polite. Brother Polite, and this is no disrespect, because I have no hell to put Brother Polite in. I'm not his God. I'm not a black woman. And I'm not his religion. I'm not money. Because that's what Brother Polite said. He said religion is his money and the black woman is his God. Bitch, you're not my God and money is not my religion. So that right there, tell you, that's the difference between me and Brother Polite. I don't have no damn bitches, no goddamn God. 
Look at the motherfucking circumstances of all these niggas that said that the black woman is God. I'm not going to beat on young Pharaoh because little bro going through something right now. When I put that video on the Sin for the P channel, I was really roasting the shit out of his baby mama because I didn't like that motherfucking shit that bitch was doing by putting the motherfucking people in his business. I don't agree with that shit young Pharaoh be talking about. I didn't agree with that disrespectful ass shit that he was doing when he was disrespecting the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I didn't agree with none of that motherfucking soft ass, punk ass, you understand me, uh, no wisdom having ass shit. I didn't agree with none of that. But at the same time, I'm not going to jump on a bandwagon to sit up there and make some money off of a young, knowledgeable, powerful young black man who looks like right now he's losing his mind. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. That is not my thing. So all of those that have an authentic prayer relationship with God, please call that young man's name out in prayer. Do something. Make intercession for that young man, fast for that young man. That young man going through it right now. And it's quite apparent, it's quite evident, you know what I mean, that he is losing his mind and he keep the boy licking his tongue out more than LL Cool J every two to three seconds. You know what I mean? I don't know what he's on. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Pray for young Pharaoh. They going live, they trying to you know, talk and roast on. Pray for young Pharaoh. Seriously, pray for young Fair. He has a very dynamic ministry. The boy is young. You know what I mean? Man, to whom much is given, though, much is still required, though, young Fair. Moving on. Um, you know, let's look at our character. The difference between Brother Polite and Sinful to P. Okay? I've taught you guys that there's a difference between a pimp and a con male. See, some of you think that a con male and a pimp is the same thing. And I'm here to tell you that it's not. The pimping is not a con artist. The pimping ain't trying to con you out of shit. All right. Brother Polite is known for conning people out of money. Simple to P is known for giving money. There's a huge difference. Think of all the so-called conscious leaders and speakers. They're known for scamming, getting people out the money. Oh, I'm about y'all. Y'all, everybody send me a hundred dollars. I'm about to sue YouTube. Everybody send me a hundred dollars. I'm about to sue Amazon. Everybody send me a hundred dollars right now. I'm about to sue Whole Foods. Everybody send me a hundred dollars right now. I'm about to sit up there. You understand me and sue every airline. Everybody send me a hundred dollars. I'm getting ready to sue Apple. Everybody send me $100 right now. I'm about to go sue OnlyFans. Everybody sit up there, you understand me, and send, you know what I mean, $100. I'm getting ready to sue uh, President Joe Biden. Everybody send me $100 right now. I'm getting ready to sue every bitch that was in Surviving Lives, a.k.a. Surviving R. Kelly. Send me $100 motherfucking dollars right now. And if you give me $100 for that stupid-ass shit, Bitch, that's on your dumb ass. You know what I mean? Okay, well, baby, if you want to sue that for the internet provider, I don't think the uh, internet... I think that's you on your Obama phone because my internet connection is uh, all right. I'm looking at it right now. Hold on for a minute. I totally forgot. Hold on. Let me do something right quick. Just a second, hold on. Hey woman. Hey, I'm I'm live right now, uh teaching, but I'm gonna get back at you. Did you uh did you receive back a response from him? No. Okay, okay. Well, that's cool. Go ahead and uh, handle your day, and after I finish this live, I'm going to call you. Okay. All right. But, okay, I'm known for giving money. 
giving money. Can you name one motherfucker that sinful scammed out of some money? Help me out. Name one person or one person that came out with a video saying that sinful to pee scammed them out of some money. Who have you seen sit up there and say that, man, sinful to pee scammed me, man, out of consultation money. Sinful to pee, man, sit up there and no. When you hear my name, all it's about is donating to charities, giving the youth the truth about my history so they don't repeat my history and they got the opportunity to make history. That's about it. I ain't never scammed nobody out no money. I don't come telling you I'm a brother of righteousness and all of that. No, you know I'm sinful. So how you going to It's not it's not even a logical comparison. The black woman is not my God. Do I love the black woman? Yes, I do love her as she is. And I'm going to keep fucking with the black woman. When you niggas is bashing the black woman, I'm going to keep sitting over there. Man, listen, if you ever see me saying that I ain't going to uh, fuck with a black woman no more, y'all should just fall out laughing. Those that know me should just fall out laughing. I, can't leave, I couldn't leave them alone if I wanted to. It ain't even just that I'm attracted to your big booty, fine, attractive motherfucking ass. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to keep it 100, man. Sometimes I like, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you already know what I mean by that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a nigga, sometimes a motherfucker like a motherfucker. Hold on, bitch. What the fuck you say? <laughs> you know, so... I'm not gonna put on no Oscar Award performance like I'm I'm not I don't love black women, I'm not attracted to black. That's a lie. But she not my God, though. She's not my God. Somebody who has, you know what I mean, that's in flesh, that's predestined to do things that's contrary to logical thinking because she's the embodiment of emotionalism. No, she could never be my God. I don't want my God calling the police on me. I don't want my God going live on YouTube with my kids in the background talking about how I'm a bad father. I don't want my God sitting over there uh, lying on me, you know what I mean, uh, talking about something. He don't take care of his kid. I'm not into that. So I don't make provisions to be in those type of situations. No woman is my God. No man is my God. No flesh is is my God. So look at the circumstances of all the individuals that said the black woman is God. Look at the circumstance today. It's terrible. Money is not my religion. Let me, let me speak on that. Any individual that tells you that money is their religion, they're already telling you that they don't have no fucking character. A motherfucker that tell you that money is their religion, they have already told you, I ain't got no character, I don't follow guidelines, I don't have no principles, I don't have no standards, you know what I mean? Uh, we gonna have some friendship until somebody offer me some money. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill you, but if they offer me the right amount of money, I mean, hey, I ain't thinking about snitching on you, but hey, if they give me the right offer, hey, you know what I mean, the money, these are people that don't have no character. No character having motherfuckers. The moment a motherfucker tell you that my money is my religion, they're already telling you that I don't have character. I'm going to lie for the money. I'm going to do whatever I need to do for it. How could you trust the individual that says money is their religion? Brother Polite was already indirectly, directly telling you that I'm a motherfucking, you know, to, I'm shysty. I'm grimy. I don't have no character. I want the money. So if I got to scam you or tell you that, you know what I mean? Send me 60,000, 80,000. I heard all of them stories. People sending people, uh, and I can't lie to you. I didn't even feel sorry for y'all. 
I didn't feel sorry because that what's breakable is supposed to be broken. If you actually, if you actually sin, brother polite, your motherfucking mama's inheritance, your mama just died and left you your inheritance. You got your inheritance from your mama or your daddy and you gave it to brother polite or nature boy. I don't feel sorry for your bitch ass. You gameless ass nigga. I don't feel sorry for you, <laughs> nigga. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't have no heart, no emotions for no nigga like that. Soft ass motherfucking nigga. You let a nigga sweet talk you and seduce you out your motherfucking money. Nigga, you's a homosexual. I don't respect you. Mama left you some money. Your mama was working 20 years, 30 years, 40 years at a fucking job and leave you some money. And a nigga can say 15 and 20 letter words and he putting syllables together that you unfamiliar with about a subject and your pussy get wet and say, ooh, let me give up what my mama gave me. Come on, man. How, how I'm going to be cool? How I'm going to like somebody like that? How I'm going to feel sorry for somebody like that? No character having motherfucker. So no, I don't feel sorry for you, bitch. Good looking on the 10, homie. You know what I mean? Hell no. You had people that gave, I forgot, somebody that gave Nature Boy like 200 and some thousand dollars. I forgot what it, I, I think that was an a, a inheritance or something. I don't feel sorry for y'all, man. Hell no. So when I be hearing grown ass man with them Winnie the Pooh stories, like he played me, he played me. I gave him 200, I gave him 300, I gave him 80 some thousand and he didn't call me no more. <laughs> yeah, ho ass nigga. Feel sorry for you, bitch. From the southeast side of motherfucking Chicago, nigga. You know what I mean? No, I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't raised to be no motherfucking sucker. You was a sucker. Sit up there and gave your mama's inheritance and people in the comment section crying and having lamentations and gnashing their teeth for your bitch ass because you let Brother Polite sweet talk you out of some money. You was a dumb motherfucker. And it be people with degrees and shit. That's why I don't even care when people be like, oh, I graduated from here. Oh, I graduated from there. Bitch, do you got common sense? I know you memorized all the information out the motherfucking European ass books and shit. You know what I mean? With the professors and shit in the classroom sitting over there telling you you understand me them beautiful lies and shit. You know what I mean? But bitch, do you got common sense? Motherfucker don't got to tell. I graduated from here. I got, you know, I majored in this. And man, none of that shit mean nothing. Niggas is sitting over here giving their inheritance to Brother Polite because he said some 15 and 20 letter words that they never heard and shit like that. And your coochie got wet and said, ooh, let me send him some money. Let me give him the money that my mama just left me. Come on, man. You're a goofy. I don't feel sorry for you niggas. That be these stupid ass bitches and shit. Oh my God, did you hear what he did? Did you hear what he just did to Brother uh, Bartholomew? Did you hear how Brother uh, Polite just uh, stole Brother uh, Shaquise Jenkins money? Did you, did you hear what Brother uh, Polite, how he stole, you understand me, uh, Marcus Curitan uh, money? Come on, man. Like, no. Nah. And bitches be over there crying and shit with y'all dumb ass. It's too easy to get money from y'all. Y'all just dumb. Just dumb. Just dumb. <laughs> I, I just laugh at that shit, man. Yeah, man. I laugh at that shit, man. Yeah. But, okay, look at the difference. Sinful to pee. God and God, by the blessings of God and by the blessings of this game, Sinful to pee was in position to give $10,000 to his high school when they was on academic probation. I didn't rob my school out of $10,000. I gave my school $10,000. Dunbar Vocational High School on the low end. Sinful the P did that. Okay? Sinful the P gave another $10,000 to children with learning disabilities and behavior disorders. Why is that? Because Sinful the P 
comes out of special ed. Sinful to pee was once labeled behavior disorder, learning disability. So it was a must. It was imperative. I was mandated to do what I did. Gave another $10,000 to them. Sinful to pee. When uh, my YouTube family was out there, you know what I mean, in Texas, what was that? Um, which hurricane was that? What hurricane was that, y'all, that I was sending my YouTube family money? All you had to do was FaceTime me or go Instagram uh, 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 live and show me that you was acting. Okay, Hurricane Harvey. Thank you, Bill. You know what I'm saying? All you had to do was show me that you was there and I was going to send you the money. Not Red Cross or none of that. I was either going to have a reunion with Western Union or Cash App. Sinful to Pete. God bless Sinful to Pete. Sinful to Pete don't get none of the glory. All praise is due to the Most High and the blessings of this game for being in position to be a blessing. Shout out, even though, you know what I mean, I'll speak on that at another time, but even six, for the pimping that knows six, you know what I mean, they'll be doing this thing in Texas. Six was pulling up on my YouTube family, sitting over there uh, with his hoes, went to the fucking grocery stores, bought groceries, and was pulling up on my YouTube family, sitting over there giving them groceries. I can't make this shit up. I ain't got nothing, to, I ain't got nothing, you know, he can say whatever he want, but I ain't got nothing bad to say about Six. Six was pulling up with hoes, and they was helping him carry groceries to my YouTube family that was in Hurricane Heart. Facts. So that's what you hear when you hear. Then a lot of you knew that you couldn't even afford, you couldn't even motherfucking afford my uh, consultation. But because you was in a situation as far as court, I had to be there for you. I couldn't say, oh, man, you know, P, you fighting 15 and 20 years, but you don't got $200. I can't get no game to you. Nigga, call me. Because you might sit up there and take a deal that you ain't got no business taking and be in a fucked up situation and be on probation for five and 10 months. No, 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 no. Call me. So, you know what I mean? Y'all know how I am. You know my character. Can't compare me to no damn Brother Polite, nigga, that's an insult. Now, let's get to, we got to, the, we got to the God thing. You know that a woman is not my God. Even though my lifestyle is contrary to the holiness of God, I know that it's true holiness or hell. I know the word of God for myself. Now, as far as the God, his God is the bitch. I believe that Yahweh is God. Two different things. Money is his religion. Me, I don't have a religion. If I did have a religion, it would be the game. Um, moving on. What else? What else? Uh, the comparison. Okay, brother Polite. He basically puts pictures and videos of him with his women. In the pimp game, you might just see individuals showing their hoes every now and then. You got individuals that will, but I told the young peas, hey. Understand that it's consequences with that. It's consequences with putting your holes all in the videos, all in the pictures. It's consequences to that. Because you must understand that if that bitch got solicitations and prostitutions all on her motherfucking name and some shit happened, they are going to use those same pictures and videos saying that, hey, you know what I mean? He can't say that this wasn't his hoe. Look at the dates. She was there. She was there. She was here with him. We got this from his Instagram. You know what I mean? That's evidence. You know what I mean? Not only that, getting away from the legal side of things, if the bitch ain't earned that shit, why in the fuck would you got the bitch all in the videos and in the pictures and shit? You got the bitch on Instagram and she ain't earned the shit. Some of you niggas just be happy to take a picture with a bitch or put a bitch in the video because she pretty. And then two to three weeks, she done chose up with another nigga and she in another nigga car. Now you looking stupid because you done gave this bitch some fame. 
And now she done sat up there and switched teams on your ass and wasn't even over there long enough, you understand me, uh, for a Tyson fight in the 90s. Come on, man. What are you doing? So I understand when a, a, a bitch stay down, hey, man, give her a crown. But all these fly-by-nighters and, you know, uh, 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 giving bitches recognition for being with you for two and three days and all of that shit, man, that shit lame as hell. You know what I mean? Fuck, I like taking a picture with you, uh, putting you in a fucking video. Bitch, you ain't even sat up there and did nothing. You ain't did nothing to deserve all of that. No, you ain't did nothing to deserve taking a picture and being in a video with this motherfucking pimping bitch. Niggas over here making bitches, they bottom bitches and shit within two weeks. One of my little young niggas that's locked up right now, you know what I mean? He, the only, he was the only nigga that I knew that used to put pictures on Facebook and get five and 10,000 likes. You know, you bitches was really loving on his appearance. But he was trying to win with the appearance, but he had no intelligence with this shit. Set up there, the same bitch that he named uh, his bottom bitch after only being there two weeks, that's the same bitch from what I hear. I haven't seen it, but the pimpin' telling me that's the same bitch that's in his paperwork. So, man, like I said, man, we don't be putting bitches all in the pictures and videos and they ain't earn that shit. Hey, a bitch can sit up there and have a big booty and nice titties and she can take a picture and be in a video with Brother Polite. Why? He's not the pimpin'. Stop calling Brother Polite the pimpin'. He is not the pimpin'. The pimpin' ain't using no deception and manipulation to get the motherfucking accumulation out of a bitch. No, straight, raw, uncut, you understand me, conversation, giving her the motherfucking engrafted word of this game, and she either gonna choose. He gonna tell her what it was, what it is, and what the fuck is gonna be if she decide to fuck with some pimpin'. But he's not trying to deceive the bitch out of some money. That's the difference between a con artist and the pimpin'. The con man, the con male is using deception, manipulation. The pimpin' is not using no lies and manipulation to deceive you. If I, if I choose, am I going to go to jail? Yup. They said I could be raped if I choose up with you and be in a lifestyle. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it is a possibility. If I get with you and get in this lifestyle, they said my family and my friends, they might not be cool with me no more. That's true. So I'm uh, from fucking with you, I might get prostitution and solicitation on my name. Oh, yeah, that's definitely true. You're going to be going cross country. Mm hmm. Your feet going to touch concrete in different states. Mm hmm. It's inevitable. You're going to catch a case. You're going you're gonna to catch a prostitution case because them people be tripping. I don't know when, but it's inevitable, baby. It's going to happen. I can give you game on how to abstain and refrain from being up in jail, but at the same time, you know what I mean? If we travel and cross, you know what I mean, state lines and things like that, you know, it's inevitable, baby. You know what I mean? And if you can't handle a jail cell, then yeah, you know what I mean? For, if you can't handle being in jail for a few hours, because the pimpin' always going to make sure that you're in and out because the retainer is already there, bitch. But if you can't motherfucking handle being in jail for, you understand me, 180 minutes, you know what I mean, or sometimes 360 minutes, you know what I mean, or sometimes maybe a damn near the day, because sometimes the pimpin' can pay a hoe's bail, but them assholes, them uh, motherfuckers that's supposed to be signing the paperwork to get the bitch out, the bail's bondsman did his job, but motherfuckers is in there eating donuts and farting and talking about nothing, you know what I mean, so the pimpin' actually could have kept his money. You know what I mean? Because uh, the bitch been up in there damn near a day or sometime over a day. You know what I mean? Because the motherfuckers is up in there lallygagging and playing and shit. You know? Yeah, they didn't did me. I done been in some cold situations like that. Where I done spent my last, you know what I mean, getting a hoe out of jail. And they sitting up there taking their sweet ass time to sit up there and sign them papers and shit to let the hoe out of jail. So we can get back to it. You know, pimps that, you know what I mean, them pimps. These are just familiar situations. And yes, bitch, if you do some participation in the game with me, it's inevitable that you're going to sit up there and get locked up. You just might get fucked up. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie to you. Because the pimping is not omnipresent. The pimping can't be in the hotel room with you. I'm not, help, 
I'm not under the bed with you having sex with tricks. I'm not in the closet and shit, bitch. You know what I mean? No, I'm not on the R. Kelly, bitch. I'm not in the closet with you doing dates and shit with Johns and shit. And, you know, uh, and if something go wrong, I'm coming out the closet like, get off my hoe. No, it ain't, no it's none of that shit, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't, the, the pimping don't do that. The pimping not under the bed, you know what I mean? And if you uh, do, if a trick do something, the pimping come from under the bed like, hey man, she said, get out of her room. Like, no, the pimping don't do that. You know what I mean? The pimping don't come out of the closet with a gun and shit like that. The lady said, get out of her room. Now you could either leave or we could get on some gangster shit. No, and that, no, no, the pimping will not be in a hotel room. The pimping is not a homosexual. No, the pimping not going to sell his own ass. The pimping going to send your mama, your grandmama, and if your auntie thick enough, she can go, you know? Now, I've dealt with the pimping versus con mail shit, and I might have to do another video on that. But there is a, 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 a huge difference. You don't see a hoe making a video saying, Oh, I sent Sin $5,000, or I gave him 10, or I gave him 20, and he gave me no pimping. I was sending this nigga money for months, and I didn't get no pimping. He promised me he was going to give me the pimping. But when I came in his presence, he gave me the simping. You don't have no bitch making no video like that with me. Why? Because she going to get exactly what the fuck she paid for. Some pimping. Me as a man. Yeah, she gonna get that. This uncommon information. My inspiration. My exhortation. You know what I mean? Me sitting over there, you know what I mean? Just me being myself on the daily. She's gonna get me as a man. She's gonna get to know who Philip Brandon Gilmore is. Yeah. So, with that being said, it's a huge difference. We don't live the same lifestyle. You know, and no disrespect, but everything that I got, no, uh, 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 you know, because I don't know if all of that's true, you know what I mean? Because they've been saying that Brother Polite be running out of money and be staying and you know what I mean? I ain't on all that. Because at the end of the day, Brother Polite still living better than a lot of y'all that's talking about him. Y'all calling the man broke and say, ooh, that ain't your Rolls Royce. We found out that it's Floyd's Rolls Royce, but guess what? Guess who driving it? <laughs> they like, yeah, we found out. That's what's the name house that you stand in. Guess who's staying in it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you got them bit, you got all them black women. You know what I mean? You deceiving them. Guess who fucking them? Guess who getting his dicks up? He don't give a fuck about none of that shit. So I'm here to tell you that everything that the pimpin' has. He pimped for it. I didn't con you for it. I didn't scam you for it. You know, no disrespect to anybody else, but I didn't get a, a, a PP, what is that shit? A PPP loan. I don't know nothing about getting loans. I never had a loan in my life. I don't know nothing about settlements. I've never won the lottery. Uh, you know what I mean? When my mama died, you know, don't, I wish that certain things, certain things did come out, but for the most part, my mama died in debt. And why did she die in debt? Because she put my siblings, the twins, through college. Okay? So when my mother died, Freeze paid for my mother's funeral. Okay? Shout out to OBT. Shout out to that good Orlando. Yeah, because my mother's funeral, my saved, sanctified mother, you know, the service was paid by OBT. Brought to you by OBT. Brought to you by Freeze Pimpin'. You know, shout out to my brother. But, you know, at that time, Sim was, you know, man, I had been with my mom for months. I wasn't thinking about no pimping or any of that at that time. My mother had brain cancer. So, you know, uh, the whole world was at a, at a standstill at that time. All my time belonged to my mother. My mother had brain cancer. You know, so by the time when my mother died, Man, I didn't, I didn't have anything. And I kept, I even kept it real with you guys on that. That's why we always have love for Johnny Cash. We talk shit. 
He said he going to beat me up when he see me. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. You know what I mean? But I understand. People got to sound tough on the internet. You know what I mean? You're out of shape. You like 5'7 with shoes on. You know what I mean? I'm I'm six two, but you you about to just beat my ass, right, 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 right. But during that time when we was cool, it was Johnny Cash that said, you know, bro, let me know if you need anything. I paid for you know, cause Johnny damn near spent in my to my knowledge, I think Johnny spent damn near over forty thousand on his mama service. If we're going to just talk, you did. And by me being a man of the truth, I can't tell you no lies. The man sat up there and said, let me know if you need anything. Bro, I, I fucks with you. Let me know if you need anything. So, you know, of course, I didn't ask for anything because, you know, that's just me. I'm a powerful motherfucker. Plus, when Freeze, when, uh, when the game used Freeze, I didn't need anything. You know, but I'm just telling the truth like it is. I can't tell you no lies. I got to tell you what is and what ain't. Johnny didn't told a lot of lies, but that's just the truth about his character in that situation. I will always have love for him because of that. That was my mother. That's my best friend. So, you know, um, during that time, I'm just giving it to you like it is. During that time, you know what I mean? This was this was the woman that used to fly from Vegas to uh, to uh, I'm excuse me, yeah, fly from Chicago to Vegas to come visit me. Sandra Evans and Marita Mayberry was my best friends. So when I said what I said, I'm bringing it all full circle. When I told you that I apologize for what happened, I wasn't saying that I knew that she was 14 because I didn't. I wasn't saying that I knowingly pimped on the minor because I did it. I was saying that whether you're innocent or whether you're guilty, whether you was knowingly or ignorantly presiding over a minor, it does, you know, just as a man, I apologize for that situation transpiring. Because it was a it was really a thorn to the side of my two best friends. You understand what I'm saying? And as a man, just taking accountability, I just wish that would have never transpired. Like, I wish we had never even crossed paths, me and Star, you know. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, we did. The truth of the matter is, you know what I mean? I did think that she was 19 years old. So let's deal with that. Brother Polite knew that, well, excuse me, allegedly, or supposedly knew that this girl was a minor because he had dealings with the mother. I didn't have no dealings with Star's mother. All of this about her, you know, uh, catching a date, you know, with her mom, she basically let that be known. And plus, you know what I mean? The records, you know what I mean, will show that because she was getting arrested for a prostitution before and after she met me. Okay? So this wasn't a Oh, she was just, you know, selling Girl Scout cookies. And no, again, her first date doing prostitution was with her mother at the age of 11 years old. So the truth of the matter is, before I was even in the game, she was already selling pussy. You must remember, I didn't come into the game until June of 2007. I caught my case April 17th of 2008. I wasn't even in the game a whole year before I was facing life sentences. That's why I take out the time to lace the youth because they don't have, you know, a council or a multitude of wise counsel. They're pretty much, especially in today's era, one mistake can cost you your whole motherfucking life. Everybody's not going to be able to go through the fire and basically walk through the uh, mouth of the lion and come out without having to register as a sex offender. Everybody's not going to go through a situation like that and come out and not have lifelong supervision on them. God was extremely, overtly merciful to me. Why? 
Nigga, I never had to register as no sex offender. I've never been convicted of any case pertaining to a child. So let's deal with that before I even play any recordings. Let's just deal with that. Um, in comparison to Brother Polite, Brother Polite knew the mother. I didn't find out about Star's mother until after I got out of prison. I didn't know her mother. If I had knew that basically, you know what I mean, that Star was a minor, I wouldn't have had no dealings with her. That's why Star had to lie to me. That's why she had to use false identification. That's why she used false identification, deceiving the police as well, which they never mentioned. Why is it that they never mentioned the deception that was used within the case? It's to support their narrative to make me look like a monster that knowingly knew that this was a minor and still presided over her in the lifestyle of pimping and home. They want to paint this narrative of me basically just being this demonic demon. And it was like, oh, you going to school? No, you're not. You're going to the blade. That's not what happened. They want me to pull up like Cody or whatever his name was. They want me to pull up, you know what I mean? Like a dude from dead presidents with a sucker in my mouth. Where you going, baby girl? Oh, hey, Sam. I was just about to uh, uh, go to school. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, take this. Oh, man, sin, you ain't got to give me that. You spoiling me. You know what I mean? They making it seem like she watching, the kids watching Barney, and I'm pulling up, you know what I mean, in El Dorado with a sucker in my mouth, you know what I mean, with some Curtis Mayfield Cuddy. They acting like I'm pulling up like Cuddy with the sucker in my mouth with a mink on when the kids watching Barney and, and, and motherfucking Power Rangers, and I'm like, what's going on, little girl? Oh, we just watching, we getting ready to watch Barney, sin. <laughs> yeah, 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 about that. Like, no, don't do that. Don't, don't do me like that, man. Stop it. You know what I mean? But you motherfuckers is some, right. You know, oh my God, don't send me to work, sin. <laughs> Somebody got to do it. Like, come on, man, knock that shit off. Get my likes up, man. Let's get them likes over 300. Everybody hit that like button. But that's the narrative that they're trying to paint. Brother Polite, if this story is accurate, which I, I know for sure that it's not, I'm just being real with you. Am I saying that Brother Polite is innocent? No, I'm not. But do I believe that story exactly how it was told, word for word? Hell no. It does not make sense. That story does not make sense at all. And the fact that you guys just jumped out the window like that off of this dumb ass story, that story makes no sense. So he just leaves with the girl. They go to a club. The club, <laughs> the club closing down. Brother Polite, he's driving. He got uh, John Legend, uh, no, the Jamie Foxx playing. I have one too many drinks. And he just drives to the hotel. And so now they get in the hotel room and he just takes his dick out, receives fellatio, comes all on the girl face and clothes. He does not wash her face or have her thoroughly wash her face. Then gets in the vehicle where she got nut just basically falling from her face as he's driving to her mother's house. Like, come on, man. I'm, I'm just, come on. I know you hate Brother Polite. I know some of y'all are jealous. But just could you please make this story make sense? This story doesn't make sense, people. It just doesn't. I'm not saying that nothing inappropriate happened. But to say that that story that was told happened exactly the way that is, I just, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I can't, I can't see it. I can't, I'm, I'm sorry. You got to give me something else. I just don't believe this man is that stupid to be driving the car, driving her back to her mama's house. She's drunk and she got nut on her face because Tasha K said it was, it was, it was still DNA. It was, according to Tasha K, it was DNA on her face. 
DNA on the clothes, DNA on the face. You know what I mean? Let me see. I caught some felony charges less than a month ago. They got dismissed faster than a Tyson fight. Uh, cat, hold on. Cast the uh, cop was on camera stealing money from me. Paid lawyer still got my passport. Man, that's a blessing. Man, God was merciful to you. Yeah, God was merciful to you, partner. And thank God that the cop was on camera stealing money. That ain't nothing but this game. Give God praise for that, partner. You know? Oh, Jack One, don't even get me started on that R. Kelly shit because they going to be mad at me, bro. And shout out to Sharon Wimbush. Everybody remember this. If you want to listen, all I'm going to do is bring balance to everybody's situation. Stop listening to one narrative. Listen to all narratives. And if you go to Sharon Wimbush, she's on YouTube. Her name is Sharon Wimbush. Go to Sharon Wimbush channel and let them let her know that Sinful the Peace sent you. Put in the comment section and say, Sinful the Peace sent me here. I come from Sinful the Peace channel. You know what I mean? She'll know. Come go to Sharon Wimbush. She got all the information on her channel refuting a lot of that bullshit and lies that was even told on R. Kelly. R. Kelly not innocent. He not no angel. But a lot of that shit that was told lies. And a lot of that information was submitted to Tasha K. But she don't want to take them videos down. Why? Because she's still making money. I want you to understand this. This is a business. I've taught you guys years ago with Hassan Campbell when it came to the pedophile hustle. I told you that Hassan was using his... Uh, affiliation and fornication that he had, you know what I mean, with brother, uh, I, mean, I said brother, African Bimbada to basically gain a platform. And one day when he generates enough money, he's not going to even talk about that. You guys put rings on him. You guys put him in a better situation. And do you see him fighting uh, African Bimbada? No, he used that as a stepping stone to build a platform to basically sit up there now and speak about rappers. You got congratulations. Y'all played yourselves. Sin told you years ago. See, they want to tell you about Christianity or the conscious community or other denominations within religiosity. I just want you to get into a continuity of listening to this motherfucking game. So you can smell the perfume of manipulation. So you can recognize and realize when somebody got the cologne of manipulation on. That's all I want. That's all I want. Hold on. There we go. You know what I mean? I want you to use this game. Because if you use this game, people won't be able to manipulate and accumulate and fornicate with you. You know what I mean? If you don't want them, if you got this game. But if without this game, you're going to be hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. That's what's going to happen. Now, in that brother polite situation, he knew, uh, supposedly, uh, let me say allegedly, he knew the girl's age. In my situation, it was false identification used. In my situation, in my paperwork, Philip Brandon Gilmore, 103-6381, she admits to lying about her age. Not only, and this, and this is what I want to show you, in my case, just to show you how grimy that, uh, that the system is, and they hide the things that they do, the reason why they had to give me the deal, people, was because the police was deceived too. Not only did I not have criminal history, but number two, which is still number one, the same ID that was used to deceive me was also used to deceive the police, which led to her being incarcerated for three whole days. They did not want that information getting out. If I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have never took the deal. Because if I had the power that I have now and the knowledge that I have now, I could have sued their ass. I don't know how much I could have got from that situation. 
But from that situation, not only do you hide information about basically the fake ID, but you hide information about Gigi using a fake ID during the time when she was on probation for identity theft. And she used my grandmother's last name, Evans. You hid that. You also hid that the minor basically had four interviews, you know what I mean, without a legal guardian being present. That was also hidden. So in comparison to Brother Polite's situation, I knew, I didn't know that this girl was 14. I didn't. I honestly, sincerely can say, I can take any lie detector to, you can ask God. For those that got a relationship with God, ask him. You know what I mean? For those that know how to look up paperwork, go look up the paperwork. She admits that she lied about her age. Tasty, Gigi are all sitting over there in, in, in collaboration saying that she said that she was 19. Let me also tell you why I was confident in winning trial, but of course with the lawyer in my ear and then, you know, certain people in my ear, you know what I mean, at the time telling me like, no, nah. you know what I mean? Because just to keep it real, when you're in the North Tower in CCDC, all you see is people losing trial, coming back with 30 years and 50 years. And see, so you must remember that I already had been in the county for 13 months. So by me having 13 months already in the county, when they finally came with something that I could fuck with, that one to four category D felony, meaning that the time is coming from the front and the back with the 13 months time served in it. Oh, man, I'm about to hit the streets and I'm about to be pimping. Yeah. And that's really I'm just going to keep it 100. It, they painted the situation like everybody got what they wanted. They got a conviction and I get to go back to the streets and pimp. I'm just keeping it real. I know you wanted the, you know, uh, after school program speech, but no, I signed that deal because I wanted to get back to the streets and pimp. When I used to look out, you know, what I mean, the window in my, uh, when I was in the county, sometimes, man, you know, what I mean, tears sometimes, you know, what I mean, would sometimes come to my eye, not because I was fighting life sentences. I was mad and angry that it's summertime and I'm locked up and I can't pimp. I'm just telling you like it is. I know you like this disgusting ass motherfucker. I know it's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. I used to actually look out into the window and tears sometime. You understand me would want to come out my eye because it was summertime. And I'm looking at all these fine ass bitches with big titties, pretty as hell, come in and out of jail for visitation to come visit people. I used to see hoes coming, squares that should be hoes. And I would have to look at the strip because um, uh, where I was at in the county, when you look out into the window, you can see the stratosphere. And at night, I would just be like fantasizing all the memories of me being on Las Vegas Boulevard, the knockings, the hoes, the fly by nights that I forgot about. Man, it'd make a man want to cry. And see, by you not being a pimp, you wouldn't understand what I'm saying to you. You like, man, this man is really filled with that demon. I understand what you're saying if you're coming from a spiritual side. But yes, I signed that deal not because I was sorry for this or that. I signed that deal so I can hit the streets and come back and pimp. When my mother used to be on the phone with the saints of God, with the women of God and different ministers, and they would be praying on the phone and speaking in tongues and they would just be preaching. To me, I never gave my life to God. Why? Because I didn't want to receive salvation while I was incarcerated. I didn't want to incarceration salvation. So I never told God that, Lord, if you get me out of this situation, I serve you because I knew that that was a motherfucking lie. I knew if he gave me my liberty in society and my feet hit concrete that I'm about to pimp. Because that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be married. I didn't want to be a Muslim. I didn't want to sit up there and come back with a nine to five or change my life. You know what I mean? No, I didn't want none of that. I wanted to come back to the pimping. I'm not finished. 
Got my fine, young, motherfucking, handsome, charismatic ass up in here. You know what I mean? At 23 motherfucking years old and shit, fighting life sentences and shit. When I should be out here pimping and presiding over beautiful hoes. That's my, that's my mindset. So, I'm just keeping it real. I know you want to be, you know, I thought about the era of my ways. and I was like, no. I signed the deal because once it was explained to me, because I got that in my deal. Once that deal was given out, because I was like, man, I'm not about to... No real nigga is going to register as a sex offender. No, I'm going to say it again. I don't care who feel offended. No real nigga is going to register as a sex offender. I'm going to repeat. No real nigga is going to register as a sex offender. I know that's going to offend a lot of people, but my definition of the real, no. Not register as a sex offender. Innocent, guilty, guilty. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You just gonna have to arrest me when you arrest me. You see me when you see me. You get me when you get me. But I'm not about to walk up in no motherfucking office, you know what I mean, register. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You just get me when you get me. You know? Nicki Minaj's husband didn't register. See, I think Pe I think uh, Kenneth got lifelong supervision. He been on that shit for damn near 20 years. That's not no regular register for sex offense. If it's been decades, that sounds like he got lifelong supervision. And it sounds like Kenneth got played. So let me put this in proper perspective. Some of the guys that registered as a sex offender, they did this as teenagers. And they did not understand the law. So when you got these white guys, Jewish guys, using legal terms that you're not familiar with, using ambiguous terms that you're not familiar with, you don't have the correct interpretation of what's being conveyed within the conversation. So, of course, you're going to get manipulated to sign shit that you think that's beneficial. But in all actuality, you know what I mean? This is to destroy you. So they played they played that man. You know what I mean? So now he's in court right now. Now that he got Nikki on his side and some money, he trying to get that shit off of him. I don't blame him. Because you could be married to Nicki Minaj, but if you got lifelong supervision on you, man, you can't really enjoy yourself the way that you want. He, Kenneth can't even, I know that that shit, he can't even be on Instagram. If he was on, if he get on Instagram, they're going to arrest him. He can't be on no social media. None of that. He can only have pictures taken and it'd be put on somebody else's platform. But he can't be on social media. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's, I guess it's not a violation because it's his child. So I guess he could be around his child. But when you got lifelong supervision, you're not supposed to be around no kids. You can't go to church. You ain't supposed to be going to parks. None of that. How the fuck he get Nikki? Man, he was a reputable street nigga in the streets. Please don't let man see it's the difference between the internet and the streets. All right. On the internet, you have people who never been nobody talking about everybody in the streets. Okay? Kenneth, I, I'm just keeping it in my, from my opinion. I just give my two cents on it. I just think, man, it was some bullshit. I just don't get rape vibes from dude. He don't have no history prior to this. And then he don't have no situations afterwards. Let me tell you, when a person really live that life, if they really about that, jail and prison don't change that. You hearing me right now. I'm telling you that I love the lifestyle. I love the pimp. I wasn't thinking about giving my life to God or becoming some Muslim or some husband and all of that shit. No. I was strategizing and rationalizing and organizing my motherfucking thoughts to get better results in the game once I got out. That's what the fuck I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about, you know, uh, after school speech program speech. I wasn't thinking about that shit. When you're a criminal, when you're doing time, only thing that you're doing is working out and reading and getting your mind right. So when you come back out, you come back like Jordan you can't dunk from the free throw line no more, but you can still average over 30 points hitting from the baseline. So it's not that you still can't be that dude. 
You just got to come up with new ways on how to play the game. That's how a criminal think. A criminal not thinking about, oh, I can't dunk from the free throw line no more, so I'm just going to quit. No, I'm going to I'm going to come up with new strategies on how to play the game so I can still, you know, be the Nick, be that dude. That's a criminal. It's a difference from somebody who got rescued. It's a difference from somebody that is a criminal. Some people were just rescued. Seeing what you mean, meaning that some people were crackheads. They was doing crackhead shit. Some people basically needed to come to jail and prison because if they didn't come to jail and prison, if God didn't allow a situation to happen like that, they was about to go to the last destination called the graveyard. So it was either the last destination or it was incarceration. So thank God for incarceration. It was a sit down. And, and just to keep it real, a lot of times you don't even be missing nothing. People ain't doing nothing out in the street. You come back to the streets, it's still the same dusty motherfuckers doing the same dusty ass shit. But uh, no, man, as far as, uh, you know, in comparison to Brother Polite, if this story is accurate, then that would mean that he knew that this was a minor because he was already involved with the mother. I wasn't involved with Star's mother. I didn't have no communication with her until after prison. So with that being said, I had nobody to tell me. Like I told you, when Free sat up there and he said, bro, you think you sure that's I'm thinking that he's trying to manipulate me because I had already knocked him. You know, what I mean, for some hoes. So because I didn't got up in his business, I'm thinking that he feeling some type of way. Plus, he had already did a little move trying to knock me. So I'm thinking that Freeze is telling me that basically, you know, what I mean, you sure that girl 18 so I can blow the bitch and so he can have her. That's how I'm thinking at the time. Freeze. All of this lies about Freeze creating IDs and all of this goofy shit, man. It's not but lies coming from liars. You know what I'm saying? My brother, my brother's character is not like that, man. Freeze ain't never dealt with no minors. And prior to this situation, I had no dealings with minors. And after that situation, I had no dealings with mine. This is what I want to ask you. I just want to ask you some questions before I play this recording. If there are six girls in the case, six females, in the case, everybody's of age except one. It's six. Okay? Everybody's of an adult age except one. And the one that's not an adult is the one with a fake ID. And openly, verbally said that she lied. It's in the paperwork. Hold on, let me see what this goofy said. Okay, I even answered that question. Uh, Freeze didn't even know that dude was recording. See, this just lets me know when it's just a narrative being pushed against me and Freeze, but you not being real. See, because a real nigga gonna keep it real on both sides. And if you look at that situation between I'm going to even just go there. I just feel like that. When you look uh, at the situation between Polo and Freeze, neither one of them niggas wanted to fight. I knew that you bitch ass niggas were saying the shit that you were saying because you just had something against Freeze. But if you look at the video, you can tell that neither one of them niggas wanted to fight. Freeze is my brother. I love him. But tr the truth is the truth. Neither one of them niggas wanted to fight. Because if Polo was really about that, when Freeze started bagging up, he's bagging up slow because Freeze thought that Polo had a knife on him. But he's still walking back slow. If Polo wanted that action and he wanted to fight Freeze, he would have ran up on his motherfucking ass. When a dog smells fear, what does a dog do? It bites. If he thought that Freeze was genuinely, sincerely fearful of his motherfucking ass, why the fuck he ain't run up? That nigga was scared. I can just tell. All of that, I'm a boxer. I box. The nigga was scared, man. 
He was scared. His whole status is fraudulent. This another nigga that used to have praise and worship service for me. Big bro, big bro, big bro, big bro. But just like many bitch ass niggas, when that situation came out, he want to use it for clout and shit. Talking about the government failed us. I seen that shit. You pimping past Freeze confession, but Shalom, Freeze confession. No, you silly dumbass. Mama raised ass, never had a father around. I love my mama, but I hate my daddy ass nigga. No, I'm not pimping past his confession. Because, bitch, he never said that he motherfucking confessed any motherfucking thing. I just gave you an outstanding understanding when I told you that he was the one that said, bro, are you sure? And the reason why he was saying that was because he was sitting over there. People, but at the time, I'm thinking that Freeze is trying to manipulate me into blowing the bitch so he can have the bitch. What part of that you ain't getting? Stupid ass niggas. Some niggas is too stupid to be in the game. But I don't, I'm not mad at you niggas. I'm mad at the handsome bitches that paid you. That's why the fuck you think you this pimping. Because some motherfucking Ritland baby ass bitch paid you. If I'm telling you that when Freeze, because Freeze was the only one, he was like, bro, you sure? I was like, nigga, I seen the ID. The ID, she said that she, that's like, she just got to, because that was the truth. I was like, she just got to telling me that prostitution is legal in Pahrump. I didn't even know that. Freeze didn't even know that. But she knew that because she was prostituting in Pahrump. He was like, oh, okay. And then, and then I told him, you know what I mean? She was with such and such, such and such. Because I wasn't the first motherfucker. It's just that I never put certain names out because that would be, you know what I mean? Those that know, they know. I'm not no snitch. So with that being said, you know what I mean? Within that, within that motherfucking uh, situation right there, Freeze never got no fake IDs. Freeze never presided because some people's like he knocked the uh, minor from Freeze. Fre he never had the minor. Freeze ain't never had a minor in the game. Freeze ain't never uh, sit up there and had a situation like that. So what are you talking about? And just to keep it all the way real, since we just putting it all on the table, Freeze when we first came in the game, Freeze would keep a solid one hole or a solid two hole. I was the one always staying, you know what I mean, five and six D. Sin was the one getting in motherfuckers' business. Sin was the one constantly having interviews. Sin was the one, you know what I mean, that was sitting over there. You, you might come back like freeze, freeze. Uh, my catch hand was better than his, but his keep hand was better than mine in the beginning. All right, that's just the truth. Freeze keep, uh, keep hand was better than mine. So you might see me one week and I might have four hoes and then two weeks later, I only got one hoe from that four with a whole new, uh, four, uh, a whole new crew. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't care at the time until T-Mac told me like, hey man, you know, what's wrong with you, baby? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know how T-Mac, you, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you know, why you can't keep a hoe, man? <laughs> you know? And once it was told to me how that's a problem, you know what I mean? Like, man, you need to be keeping hoes. Some people had that mentality of, oh, man, you know what I mean? You know, these hoes, man, they come to pay not to stay. And that's their justification of basically sitting over there, just everybody running through their house and not maintaining anything. But see, when you got your shit in order as a man, because a lot of people can't have long runs because they don't have their shit together as a man. They got a cold catch in, but they keep hand they shit because they don't have their shit in order as a man. All right? So just keeping that thing all the way 100, I didn't have a good keep hand until after I got out of prison. In the beginning, no, nah, just a, a cold catch in. But keep hand really wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? As far as like a, with a large group, you know, as far as with Gigi, yeah. And you know what I mean? Different ones, but for the most part with different crews, 
no, I never been able to maintain a family, you know what I mean, uh, for a long time before I got locked up, you know what I mean, when I came in. But 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 just keep it real. That's another thing that people not looking at. I came in the game of June of 07, and I get locked up the 17th of April next year. So that lets you know that I had not been in the game a whole year before I got locked up. I'm a 23-year-old with no mentor, not reading books, none of that shit. I'm learning by, you know what I mean, trial and error. So with that being said, not making no justifiable excuses, but they're comparing a 23-year-old with no mentor, no guide, no, no uh, wisdom coming from, you know what I mean, older peas and all of that. T-Mac every now and then, but they make it seem like, you know, I have, by that time, my father was dead. So my father couldn't lace me. I didn't have what Andre and different individuals had that was blessed with. I didn't have that. So as a result of that, by me not having that multitude of safety, which is counsel, you know, I was predestined for situations that, you know, was going to lead to that. Because of the way I was moving. Because anybody will tell you, I was pimping like the law didn't exist. Nigga popping on fig and fur. <laughs> hey, man. You know what I mean? It was pimping, man. You know what I mean? Bang with this shit. Let them know, man, that it's pimping. I remember when oh, motherfuckers used to make excuses coming up to me talking about, I would get clean. I be seeing you wearing your suit, Sinful. You make me want to get clean, man, but I be scared because I don't want them to know. I don't want... And see, by me never having a YA experience, me never being locked up, you know, in my younger years, because you also have to remember from 14 to 20, I was in holiness. I was living for God. Wasn't no fornication. Wasn't no profanity. Wasn't no worldly music. On prom night, I didn't have no girlfriend to take the prom. I was preaching to almost 6,000 people on my prom night. Our teenage years was different. So the moment when I backslid and had, you know, the liberty to do my thing, and I came to a foreign land, which leaving Chicago and coming to, you know, Vegas on my 21st birthday, April 30th, 2005, you know, um... Yeah, man, two years later, that's when I ended up, two years and some change later, I ended up getting this, into the game. You know, but within that two years, man, you know what I mean? Of course, fornication and, you know, doing my thing. But prior to that, from 14 to 20, no, nah, man, you know what I mean? My lifestyle was completely different. That's why you think that me and Dre connected so much because our life, uh, uh, the childhood, you know, has a lot of similarities. We come from the same holiness type of background. He was also a minister, you know, in his teenage years, you know. So I'm just sitting over there just giving it to you like it is. I never had a desire for nobody's child. I never had a, I never looked at a child and was like, ooh, you know what I mean? Look at her, you know what I mean? With them blue blockers on. Look at her blowing them bubbles. On a, Come on, man, don't make me into that. That's not me, homie. You know what I mean? What I ran into was, and let me just teach you how I had that situation be. On the pandering, watch this. Let me see, man. What are you talking about? Come on, dude. Sam can handle that question. What's the question? Before I go on, what's the question? I don't want to step over nobody's question. What's the question? I don't want none of these little niggas, P, thinking that they got something that came out their head that I can't answer. Oh, man, that's your question? Man, I feel like dude in the Kung Fu movie, man. You come straight out of the comic book. Okay. Um, is it like, is this like having slaves? No, you little nigga, because the hoe is your woman. That's not your slave. That's your friend. That's your everything. That's not my motherfucking slave. And what type of question is that coming from a guy? See, 
you must understand that I was around elders, ministers, uh, pastors, con artists, max, pimps, street niggas. You know what I mean? I didn't observation from all sides. But one thing that I could appreciate from the men that I viewed and I liked as a shorty was the fact that they ran their household. These were men who, whose opinion had dominion in their homes. They ran their homes. So would you say that it was slavery when a man walks into a, a, the house and the woman comes to, you know what I mean, uh, grabs everybody's jacket and go hang everybody's jacket up and immediately asks her husband or her man, baby, do you want me to cook something? A lot of people thought that I got that from the pimping, but I didn't. I got that from holiness. So when pimps, every pimp that's ever stayed with me, they will tell you when I was living with sin, when I was living in sinful's house, I didn't pay one bill. We're not talking about no weeks. We're talking about motherfuckers that have stayed with me months. A few people over a year. Never paid one bill. Never had to pay for no food. No nothing. Why? Because I got women. I got a woman to wash the dishes. I got a woman to mop my floor. I got a woman to cook my meals. I got a woman to massage my back. I got a woman to sit up there, you understand me, and comfort me and console me. You know what I mean? You see it as a slave. I see the woman doing what's vital to the title of a woman. Any woman that's ever been with me, she'll tell you that sin gonna walk you in the kitchen and tell you that you, you, uh, this is you. You, you, do you own this? So even though I'm the pimping and I'm your man, but at the same particular time, I expect you to run this kitchen. That means that when I see dishes, I shouldn't be seeing, you know, pizza stains, lasagna stains and Chinese food stains. And I, I want my dishes thoroughly washed. My cups thoroughly wash, old school, you know? So I had to teach a lot of my women how to wash dishes. How some of them did, everybody don't know how to cook. Everybody don't know how to wash dishes. Everybody don't know how to clean. I have to teach my women how I want my bed made. You know, how to make the bed. Some girls, they don't even know how to make the bed. So, you know what I mean? That structure that I got, it come out of holiness. I was taught right. So I was able to give them some good holiness teachings. So when you live in my house and a woman sit up there and she come ask, you know, did you want me to cook or make anything? That's because I come out of holiness. That's not because I view some pimp. I was viewing the men of God. I was looking at Elder Mosley. I was looking at Elder Collins. I was looking at Elder Henry. I was looking at the way the Elder Melvin Dwayne Patillo, you know what I mean? Men that I really valued and loved with all my heart. These men were men and they ran their homes. These men would go out and go get money. They had jobs, careers. The woman, she just cleaned the house. She uh, sit up there and helped the children with their homework. That's what I come from. So I just took those teachers and applied it to the game. A hoe supposed to know how to cook. A, a hoe ain't just, you know, for just getting money and all. No, no, no. This is a woman. So, you know, man, I had to teach all that later, man. But no, nah, man, ain't like no motherfucking slaves, nigga. That's on you. But OK, I dealt with me and Polite have he had, his religion is money. I don't have a religion, and if I did have a religion, it'd be the game. I believe that uh, Yahweh is God. He believes that the black woman is God. He's known for scamming people out of money. I'm known for giving money, uh, charities to my people. Uh, it's no comparison. Let me see. You also want them to sell their body for cash. Oh my God, you motherfucking human traffic program on Netflix watching motherfuckers. Okay, let me just throw this in there. If that woman decides to sell my, my information 
and fornication just might be an exchange with that. That's something that she desired to do. OK, that's a decision that she made. It's a it's a choice that she made as a woman to sell her pussy and give me the benefits from it. So where does the slavery come in? It's a choice that she's making. It's no force. I'm not being aggressive to be progressive with her. It's a decision that she's making. So how would you make that into slavery? That's not slavery. If that's a free will thing and she's deciding to give money to her man, to give all the money and allow the man to preside over the money, I don't even understand how you would even put that in slavery. Some, do you understand that a woman, most women, I'm not, well, I'm, I'm not even going to say most, I'll just say a huge population of women are not good at presiding over money. It's not, you're looking at the lifestyle. I'm looking at, you know what I mean, just women. Now, all of them are not like that, but you have a huge population of women that are not good with presiding over money and don't have the information to take the money from the pavement and make an investment with it so it can become a lifelong development. They don't have the knowledge on how to make the money work for them. So a pimp who's an informative representative of life and the lifestyle, he presides over the money and takes the addition from her pussy, applies the information and makes multiplication with the addition that she gave. That's the pimping. He's making the money work for them so they can have something to show for why they pimped and hoed. And when I say that, I'm not speaking of just cars and fashion designer clothes and, and things like that. No, I'm not speaking on that. That's like drinking water. That's part of your uniform. That was just things that you were supposed to have. If a bitch got on Louis, Gucci this, jewelry and everything like that, that's her uniform. You must understand that in this movie called The Come Up, she's a beautiful actress and she must look up. she got to look the part. It take money to make money. So any man that's not sending his woman out looking like she's going to the Grammys or the Oscars or she's not looking like a conservative, sexy, beautiful uh, woman, you know, is a man that's really not about his money. If he's sending that woman out the door and she look like uh, she's on a shopping spree at Rainbow, he's not serious about his bankroll because a man that's serious about his bankroll is going to make sure that his woman's attire is basically uh, defining perfection to the highest degree because he loves his woman. She's his reflection. So, you know, uh, I don't know what you were told or maybe your vision and definition of the lifestyle comes from television. So I understand why you're saying a bunch of things that's contrary in my comment section. OK, I got to move on. I'm giving you the difference between a con male and a pimp because Brother Polite has been known to be a con male. A con male and a pimp is not the same thing. Pimps are not using con. If there was any deception, manipulation used, we have to make this into conning. If it's the truth, it's the pimping. The truth is not me being a little boy and lying to this bitch. The truth, the pimping is about me telling her what it was, what it is, and what it's going to be, and she deciding to fuck with it. That's the pimping. In a nutshell, the irrefutable, incontestable truth about the game. Now, getting back to the case, let's play this right quick. Get back to this ism that I never left. Shout out to those that uh, have donated and given contributions. Amen. Praise God to the highest. Let me see. Uh, uh, Kenyon, thank you for that. Bill, you came through. Appreciate that, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's get to this. Uh, let me play this. Because it just seems as if every time they speak on this case, they never use the part of when a false identification was used. Not just on me, but the police. Do you not understand that they had to give me that deal? Do you think they just gave a nigga a fucking deal like that just because? 
But it was DNA. If it was DNA, if it, if they had everything that you think they had, then why would a deal even be given? First deal was fifteen to thirty. Second deal was a one to ten. Third deal, final deal was a one to four category D felony, alpha plea, and the minor case was dropped. I didn't go to prison for that minor shit. I wasn't gonna register as no sex offender. They had to drop that bullshit. I went to prison for an adult pandering and an adult living of the earnings of prostitution. I've never registered as a sex offender in my life. I've never been convicted for anything pertaining to a child. So once again, when it came to the pandering, she said that Gigi gave her, okay, somebody else sent some money. I look at it. Um, she said that Gigi enticed her, compelled her to prostitute. They said, who taught you? Who was encouraging you? She said, Gigi. They said, who did you give the money to? Hey, Paulina, that's my baby right there. Y'all make sure y'all go to Paulina's channel and click on that subscribe in that bell. Let's support her. Paulina should have been over a thousand subscribers. She should have been had thousands. And, and we want to get in the comment section and encourage Paulina to finally come out with some content because she got an abundance of information in that location of that mind of hers that would be a blessing to us. You know, so even though, of course, she got her own itinerary and things like that. But, hey, man, tomorrow is not promised. And hey man, she got a wealth of knowledge and she definitely got a testimony that can be a blessing uh, to young women. So you won't have to repeat history. You have an opportunity to make history. So you definitely want to go to her channel, click on the subscribe button in the bell and support, you know, what I mean, whatever she's presiding over or any of her endeavors. Blessing to uh, Paulina. But in the pandering case, I mean, as far as the case is concerned, the charges. Um, pandering. She said that Gigi was the one that uh, encouraged her to prostitute. She didn't say me. So I had the pandering beat. And that's accurate. Gigi was the one, you know, I mean, that was, you know, you need to fuck with him. And yeah, that's true. She told exactly what happened according to their story. They told the same exact story. As a matter of fact, they have four interviews. Of course, they only want to give one interview because in that interview, she also, uh, they kept asking her, so he didn't know your age. He didn't know your age. You sure? No, he didn't know my age. No, no, he didn't. How old did he think he was? 19. How old did he, the one interview, first interview, 18. Other interview, 19, 19, 19. But in all interviews, she's saying that she basically lied and said that she was an adult. And then when you got your own police officers arresting her as an adult and you have a minor in an adult jail for three days, you don't want this information to get out. So, of course, you motherfuckers couldn't fuck me over the way that you desired to fuck me over. You had to give me a deal, bitch. The motherfuckers ain't do me no favor. When have they ever gave a nigga a favor? You stupid, gameless, brainless motherfuckers. When have they ever sit up there and been cool with niggas? Say, you know what? Even though we've been fucking niggas over and we've been sitting over there, you understand me, making black men examples and we making pandering a sex crime so we can get more of these niggas up in here, whether they uh, pimp, pimping, presiding over minors or not, we just going to give this one nigga, it's just something about him. We just going to give this nigga a deal. Even though it's DNA, all of this shit, we just, gonna, we just feel like being cool with sinful. So we gonna give him a deal that he can fuck with. Stupid motherfuckers. They had to give me that shit. They fucked themselves out of fucking me over. They didn't do me no favor. So the, everybody got what they wanted. They wanted a conviction, they got a conviction. I just wanted to get back to the street so I can pimp. I wanted to get back and pimp and they wanted a conviction. You know what I mean? Fair exchange, no robbery. They knew I was going to go back to the streets and pimp, and they just wanted a conviction. They didn't want to go to trial because I had a good chance of winning that. With the pandering, she said Gigi did the enticing. With the living under earnings of prostitution, she said that she gave Gigi the money. 
And then when they said Gigi would, uh, when Gigi was asked, what did she do with the money? She said she gave the money to Tasty. Tasty, she said that she never gave me no money. And Tasty said he not a pimp. Which, you know, if y'all remember, that's the one uh, that had left me uh, for dead in the end when I was on parole. And I did her shysty when she flew in from Chicago and was in the cold. I still love her to this day, but I had to teach her a lesson about, you know, doing that dumb ass shit with the pimping, man. You know, but she said she gave the money to Tasty. Tasty said, you know, what I mean, he's not a pimp and I never gave him any money. As far as the child endangerment, I had that beat. Why? Because how could you charge a man with child endangerment? I mean, how could you convict a man for child endangerment when she admits that she lied about her age and then you have your officers who are deceived about her age? So how the fuck did I know she was a child when your own police officers didn't know the, that she was a fucking child? So I had the child endangerment beat, the living under earnings of prostitution beat, pandering beat, transportation of prostitution beat. I had that whole motherfucking thing beat. I just didn't want to play with my life. I'd already had 13 months in the county. They swung the one to four, the category D felony coming time, uh, coming off the front and the back. I leave the situation. Don't got to register as a sex offender. I just leave it with two felonies uh, for pandering and living under earnings of prostitution. Fuck it. Swing that shit so I can get back out here and pimp. That's just how it was. You know? Okay, what did this idiot put in there now? Because the goofy think he asking me some questions that I can't see. Oh, I see Paulina sent something. Baby, I got that $100 that you sent. Praise him. Hold on, what did the... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my... Oh, 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 my God. Yeah, okay. That $100 then came up in here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, let me see this shit right here. Hold on. Yeah. All right, cool. Let me turn this. Let me read what he's saying, man. Because this guy actually thinks that he's saying something. And he's not. Polite has multiple women. But as far as we know, he doesn't accept his wives to sell their bodies uh, for cash. Okay, well, brother, let me just say this to you. You have to understand that polite is not a pimp. I just gave the comparison. So what you're doing is you just gave confirmation of what I've been saying the whole time. That's not a revelation. I told you that the difference between me and polite is polite is a con meal. I'm a pimp. There's a difference. Um, polite has been accused of scamming the people. I'm known for giving money to the people. It's a difference. And polite's case, I'm not saying he's guilty or innocent of the charges on him. But one thing that I do know is that he was involved with the mother. So if he was involved with the mother, he, of course he had to know, you know, that the daughter was a minor. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference. I didn't know. I didn't know that basically that girl was a minor. If I knew that the girl was a minor, I wouldn't have had no dealings with her. If you think that I'm the monster, that y'all try to pay me to be, then why did deception have to be used? I'm asking the same question pertaining to my case, uh, the same question pertaining to R. Kelly case. If R. Kelly is the monster that you guys painted him to be, why in the hell are all of these girls lying to him about their age? A nigga that ain't got no motherfucking standards and principles and shit like that, why the fuck you lying saying that you 18 and 19 and shit? If you know that the nigga a pedophile, you think that he a pedophile. If you think that he a hebophile, then all you would have to do is say your real age, he gonna fuck with you anyway, because he don't got no standards. A motherfucker that ain't got no standards, you ain't got a lot to him. You ain't got a lot to kick it with no hebophile or no pedophile. Ain't no deception there, it's got to be used. So I can't, you know, like I said, people say the things they say to fit their narrative. But if you, when you're going to uh, say something... Tell it on both sides. Get the truth in totality. Okay. Um, hey, bro, I done seen people get 30 years and 50 years with a paid lawyer. I, I, didn't, I didn't get people keep bringing up my lawyer 
Do you know that I got out of that, out of that situation without registering as a sex offender? No lifelong supervision. Didn't have no conviction pertaining to a child. Do you know that that was with a public defender? That wasn't no paid lawyer. Do you know that I have four cases in the system all at the same time? So even though I didn't have no criminal history, it's just the fact that you got four cases in the system and every charge is pertaining to pandering and living other earners of prostitution. I had one stupid ass robbery case because the bitch lied and said, this was my robbery case. This is how, <laughs> this is, um, this shit was so dumb. I sit up there, you understand, and said, man, I'm going to represent myself. So I wish that Keisha would pull that out. Yes, there is videos of Sinful representing himself, you know what I mean, in that robbery case, in that uh, pandering case, in the living of the earners of prostitution case against, you understand me, um, where her last name was, uh, um, I can call Freeze, but her last name is Durham. You know what I mean? I can call Freeze. He definitely remember, but... Okay, this was the thing. The bitch said that I drove on Boulder Highway in a Malibu car. I get out of a Malibu car, smack the shit out of her, go in her purse and take $7 and get in the car and drive off. That was the robbery. And they gave me, <laughs> I actually had a robbery case with me driving the Boulder Highway in a Malibu, getting out of a suit, smacking the shit out of a bitch, and taking seven dollars out of her purse, all she had was seven dollars, and then I just get in the Malibu and smash off. Now think about this story. That's and I look at that story the same way that you got. You, I look at that story the same way that Tasha K told that story on Brother Polite. It just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. So you mean to tell me I pushed up in the Malibu, I smashed up the great one, bought me a red. Every time we hit the park, we turn head. Some hoes want to choose, but these bitches too scary. I'm just pulling up. You know what I mean? Ah, 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 ah. And I just get out, you know what I mean, the music. I choose you, baby. And I'm, and I'm just, I get out the car, you know what I mean, smack, bitch, where's my motherfucking money, ho? Bam! And take the $7, bitch, this look better with me than you. And then just get back up in the car and just drive. Oh, 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 I choose you, baby. You know what I mean? Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's stupid. I just got the seven dollars just riding out. Smashed up the great one. Bought me a red. Hit the bitch in the face. Took seven dollars as my bread. Them hoes wanna chew, but these bitches too scary. I just broke the bitch for seven dollars. Use a fairy. Oh, 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 I choose you, baby. You know what I mean? I'm just riding. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. <laughs> oh, my God. So they dropped the robbery case. And uh, that's her name, Yanni, Yanni Durham. And the pandering case, let me see. Let me show you how I beat the living of the earnings of prostitution case with this bitch. Because the bitch that I'm talking about, this is the same bitch that on Minister Jap, I was on Minister Jap shit. And she the one that I caught the domestic violence case with that ended up getting dropped. See, they want to talk about, he caught him domestic violence, but they don't never talk about he beat both cases. They never say that all the cases got dropped. They never speak on the, the motherfucking case they spoke on. That bitch never got touched. Didn't have one mark on her body. Why y'all never speak on in the video, when they put the light on the bitch body, ain't no motherfucking marks, bruises, or nothing. Why y'all didn't say that? Like, damn, you know, uh, she's saying sinful whooped her ass. Where the bruises at? Where the marks at? Exactly. Just like when Golden uh, Beauty said that uh, Pharaoh was just kicking her ass all in the house 
and kicked her in her head, but she don't have no bruises. She just come out here with beautiful skin and long ass hair, and y'all like, ooh, she just whooping her ass. Stupid motherfuckers. But anyway, let me uh, play this right quick. Let's listen to this. Hold on. Because you know what's so cold? That uh, Monty dude, the Monty dude that sit up there and used my name, do you know that he had an inappropriate conversation with a minor? He has no business speaking on polite, myself, anybody. He knew that this girl was a minor and Monty Woodgrain is having an inappropriate conversation knowingly with a minor. This nigga had her pictures in his phone. A, he got motherfucking child porn in his phone. He had no business. What? Bro, you about to sit up there and get blocked. I've been really trying, striving with your dumb ass. You had just submitted you smacked her. No, you dumb ass fuck. It didn't even happen. There was no story. She made that out of her ass. What are you talking about? Yeah, get that bitch made ass, Nick. Take the, in New Jack City, take that nigga outside and kill him three times. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't make no sense. I caught a robbery case just off the bitch making shit up. Nigga, I never took no $7 out no bitch purse, nigga, and smacked her on Boulder Highway. You male Jezebel ass nigga. Man. All of these motherfucking period poo jogging suit wearing motherfuckers just all in my comment section just talking crazy. Man, get them motherfucking niggas up out of here, man. That's them uh, Doja Cat type of niggas, man. But anyway, look. The motherfucking nigga Monty Woodgrain, this retarded looking motherfucker, because the nigga, let me just say this. He's not funny. The nigga's not funny. You know how I just do shit naturally? This nigga be putting on body suits and, you know, he's only funny when he's imitating people. You have a different type. You have individuals who watch individuals and mimic what they do. So people will laugh at that because it's a joy. And, oh, yeah, he do be doing that. He do be doing that. You know what I mean? That type of shit. But he's not an individual that you put a microphone in his hand and he stands up in front of people or maintains an audience even on YouTube for 120, 180 minutes just with everybody laughing. He's not that dude. He's just not that dude, man. But the nigga just had a... When I heard this conversation, I was disgusted in my spirit because this is some individual that's been on YouTube speaking on me and nigga, you on the phone talking to a minor, admitting to her that you can put her naked pictures on social media if she didn't believe you. So wait a minute, you got her naked pictures in your phone? And this is who you listening to? And the other dude, stay sheep or whatever, he was just talking out his ass. He didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He was like a bitch, you know what I'm saying, that just be talking. You know how bitches just be running their mouth? Yeah. Sin for the peace said, you know what I'm saying? He calling y'all out. He's saying he snitched. He's saying he's a pedophile and y'all should have killed him. No, bitch. That's not what the fuck I was saying, ho. I was simply saying that if what he's saying is true, which is not, then why I'm not dead? You saying that I'm a pedophile. I know that I'm not a pedophile, but if you actually believe that, and I caught that case in 08, and I got out in 2011, I didn't leave the States to come to Canada until 2018. Been in pimp circles, cross countries, cross country, been to all type of funerals, all type of events, and you didn't sit up there and pull up or none, none of that. So, like I said, it's the difference between the internet and the streets. The little nigga just talking. That's why I just allowed the little dude on the phone to just talk and just used him for views. I knew it was entertaining. So, you know, go ahead, little mama. And I let little mama go off. But as far as the, hold on, let me see his name. 
Because I'm uh, niggas want to be famous and I just want to help them out. As far as the sheep stay sleep TV nigga, I've never snitched. I've never told on nobody. I ain't in nobody's paperwork. And as far as with the minor, I didn't know that she was a minor. And they knew that I didn't know that she was a minor. Their police officers didn't even know that she was a minor. That's why when you put in Philip Brandon Gilmore, you don't see no sex registry whatsoever. Did it ever occur to you that, damn, that nigga in Canada, how the fuck he get in Canada? Simple was live showing you his passport. Damn, how Simple get a passport? How he get across the border? How did he get in Canada if he was convicted for anything pertaining to a child? How did Sinful get into Canada and be able to be in another country with a passport if what you're saying is accurate? Simple minded ass little niggas. But OK, let me just play this uh, this court thing right quick. Hold on. No, not that's not it. No, that's not it. Hold on, give me a second. They just been on here trying to make me into brother polite and everything. Hey, man, keep making y'all videos. I ain't mad at you. But I felt insulted. You know, niggas, niggas not telling the truth, man. They just saying what they want. They just doing what they want to do. Hold on for a minute. Let me find that right quick. In the meantime, man, y'all get them likes up to 400. That's what y'all can do. Give me a second. Let me find that. You got all of these, just all of these niggas. Just speaking on the pimping. And they don't even know what the fuck they talking about. Like, nigga, I didn't know. And see... Because it's a chat, it was a, and it's, I just want you to know, the person that they speaking on is 28 years old today. Hold on. Her lifestyle, of course, is different, but she still wants to be involved with me. But because of our history, we can't be together. That's a no-no. Hold on. But if you notice... You've never seen one woman get on the internet saying, yes, it's true, sin is a pedophile. He turned me out when I was a teenager. How come you don't see no women in the day of clout coming forward that I presided over in the game telling y'all that sinful turned me out when I was a minor? You mean to tell me in the day of clout there is no women coming forth saying, yes, it's true. You know, he's always had a thing for minors. You know what I mean? And woo, 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 I was turned out when I was 15, 16. You don't have none of that. You niggas is making up lies saying I got children and, 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 and children over here and children over there. Okay, my only answer to that, I'm not even going to like get into all that. But how come you never see my name in child support? How come you don't see women... If what you're saying is true, how come you don't see no women coming forth saying that sinful to pee don't take care of his kids? How come I never had to pay child support? If what you're saying is true, if I'm just this ain't shit ass nigga, this donating to charity, charities and, and giving to schools, but I don't take care of my kids, where, <laughs> but where, where, like, I ain't bringing up no other YouTubers. But you see all of these YouTubers that people bringing up saying, ooh, he owed child support. He was behind on child support. He was on, how come I was never put on child support? How about that though? How come sin don't owe nothing to child support? Yeah, do you, come on, man. Like if you gonna, you know, if you gonna sit up there and put it out like that, be all the way with it. But let's listen to this, hold on. I don't believe he's here yet. Okay. Yeah, no, I also have the Gilmore matter. It's not a calendar call. It's a sentencing on page 
11 if we could go forward with that. Hold on, hold on. No, I didn't have the right one. That's the when Gigi getting ready to testify. I want when they when the the, the the accepting of the deal. That's what I want. I want that real shit. That shit that they don't talk about. The deal that was presented. They don't never notice that none of the YouTubers be like, I did my research. I heard, I heard the NRS numbers that was used. The man is telling the truth. That's all it takes. Hold on. And what she also failed to bring up was the case with the domestic violence. Hold on. 14 year old little girl and had intercourse with her. But what did he tell you is his main concern? Getting out so he can get on with his music. 14 year old. I want you to girl. hear the DA trying to rip me up. This case, certainly. And I ain't trying to make myself no God, but compare me to Brother Polite's teacher. When you seen Dr. York in that video, no disrespect to those that think that Dr. York is their God and everything. But when you see Dr. York in that video at sentencing, he looks weak. He looks defeated. He look like he about to die. I hate to say it, but brother, Dr. York looked terrible. When you see me in court, I'm disrespectful. I'm the same arrogant motherfucker that you hear me talking. Why you think my following with every video that you, you, you guys done brought out, how come you think that my following don't leave me? Because they already knew this. What did you expose, bitch? I already spoke on this before Keisha came out. He just provided the visual and good. And I thank him for that. Thank you. Because I'm always going to be able to use this and this, thank you for that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Why you thinking that you pulling that, bitch, I'm gonna keep making money off, thank you. You meant it basically to pull me down. Bitch, I'm gonna keep coming up. <laughs> you know, hold on. I want you to hear the DA trying to smash on me. Damn, she calling me already? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hello? Hello? Hey, baby. Are you still on live? Yeah, you probably couldn't see me because I'm on a different channel. Did you, what? Did you? Oh, okay. Did you need me? Um, I was just going to tell you I got some good news. Okay, okay, okay. Don't say that good news on here. We'll talk about that good news when I get off the of live. Okay. I like the way you said okay. All right. All yeah. Stop. Anyway, <clears throat> trying to get me out of my mood, bitch. Bitch, trying to sound sexy to get me out of my mood, bitch. These bitches be thinking they slick. Bitch, probably watching this shit. You know, that's why I had to stop that. You know, Sin used to allow all his hoes to just be calling in while he was live and shit, but I started noticing they was trying to make it the Sinful to Pee and the whole show. Uh uh, it's just Sinful to Pee, bitch. It's just me, bitch. I'm the Dave Ruffin of this shit. Bitches was trying to be Eddie Kendricks. Once I seen the hoes was trying to be Eddie Kendricks calling in all the time and all of that shit fucking up my flow, I had to stop all of that shit. Uh-uh, bitch. You ain't motherfucking Ollie Woodson ho. I'm Dave Ruffin. Okay, let me get back. Okay, uh... 14 years old at the time of this case. Uh, she was just a child. Uh... Um, first okay, bam. Let's just go. I don't believe he's here yet. Okay. Yeah, no, I also have a Gilmore matter. It's not a calendar call. It's a sentencing on page 11, if we could go forward with that. Thank you, Madam versus Philip Gilmore, C244542. This is a date and time set for entry of judgment and imposition of sentencing. Sir, is there any legal cause or reason why judgment should not be pronounced against you at this time? Any reason why we should not proceed with sentencing, sir? 
I virtue of your pleas entered in this manner, I hereby adjudicate you guilty of count one, pandering, and count two, living from the earnings of a prostitute. The state wish to address the court? Thank you, Your Honor, we do. Um, first, uh, the state has Jennifer Harper here. Uh, she was a victim of one of those cases. She was known as a Another thing that they never mention, the judge reads what I'm being convicted for. Notice she never says pandering on a minor, living of earning a prostitution for a minor. No, it's an adult pandering, an adult living of the earnings of prostitution. There's no minor. If what they had, how, what you guys profess to feel so strong for, if what they had was so strong to convict me, they wouldn't have gave me that deal. I just explained to you why they had to do that. They didn't give me no motherfucking favors. You know what I mean? Fair exchange, no robbery. Like I said, they wanted a conviction. I just wanted to get back out and pimp. Let's go. But even when Keisha be posting that paperwork, he's posting charges. He's posting allegations. He never posts the conviction. He never posts the emotion of discovery. He just reading charges as if it's convictions. And you so goofy that you can't see what he doing. Come on. Uh, the state would request that she address the court last. I do um, additionally have a victim impact statement from her uh, describing the injury she brought with him this morning. Didn't get it back to the Department of Home Probation in time. Uh, basically, what we're going to ask for is two hundred dollars for her counseling, as she's mentioned. And then, bitch, I'm not going to pay no two hundred dollars. I'm just giving you what Simple was thinking the whole time listening to this shit. It was like, you know, what I mean, we're going to uh, we're asking for two hundred dollars. Uh, the state requires woo woo woo. I'm in my mind like I'm not about to pay none of this shit. Let's sign the papers. I'm about to get back out here and pimp. I'm out for the summertime, nigga. We're going to ask for an additional five hundred dollars. Uh, because most of uh, Jennifer's items that she had and that she lived on were with the defendant when he was arrested, she doesn't have receipts or anything to show that. I mean, she's actually claiming losses of more than $20,000 in regard to a relation with the defendant. But I explained to her the 200 for the counseling and then 500 uh, just to pay for some of the you know, clothes and accessories that she lost as a result of her relationship with him, a work relationship with him. So that's what we're requesting. And I gave that. I don't I'm in my mind like, man, they better charge that shit to the game. Come on. A copy for Mr. Paris. Um, she's going to turn that into the Department of Parole Probation after sentencing. Uh, and we would like to be heard. In reviewing uh, parole and probation's report, Judge, it seems as though one of the reasons why... I was like, Jesus paid it all. Come on. ...the recommended probation is because this is the defendant's first felony conviction. Um, but the state submits that the department loses sight of two important things. One is that the defendant had two other felony cases... Uh, battery domestic violence case and another pandering case that were dismissed during the prosecution of this case. It was dismissed. So if it was dismissed, why are you bringing it up? See, that's what people are not looking at. Dismissed. What she did not bring up was not only was it dismissed, but Mr. Gilmore represented himself in those cases. Come on. And two, um, a lot of times with pandering or sexual abuse cases, the defendants don't have a criminal history. And that's certainly not a reason to say, hey, they don't have a record, so let's go ahead and give them probation because they deserve a chance. Look how cold she is. The bitch did, she the same bitch that did that in front of my grandmother. My grandmother came with five pastors that knew me before I got into the game. Because, you know, when I first came to Vegas, I was playing the organ and singing at my grandmama's. Well, I, uh, not, I never played. Did I play the organ at Grandma's Church? I think I might have played for one service, but I started moving around, you know what I mean, to different congregations. Grandma's Church, you know, I love Grandma, but she was at a Methodist church. You know, you ever been to a Methodist church? You know, they pretty boring. So when I came, I was like the life of the party. But um, them pastors, they loved me. And they just couldn't understand how this young man that used to come with Sandra Evans was facing these charges. So grandmama came with five pastors, recommendations for all. I was like, and I got, I ain't gonna lie, I got some good, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that, yeah, because I had to give too many people some ideas. But just always remember, it's game and everything. But uh, when she brought the pastors and the recommendations, this was the same district attorney saying, we can't allow him to get, you know, uh, reduce his bail 
because even though he don't have a criminal history, Mr. Gilmore is dangerous. He's the worst type of pimp. Even though he's not using physical force, your honor, you have to understand that Mr. Gilmore, he's very dangerous. He's using spirituality, you know, to control these girls. You know what I mean? He he's has manipulation, you know what I mean, that's far more dangerous, you know, than just putting your hands on these women. You know, Mr. Gilmore is a monster. So he doesn't have any criminal history because Mr. Gilmore just never was caught. You know what I mean? Like she was making me like I was like the devil himself. But come on. Um, the state's going to request something that may be viewed by some as unconventional, certainly I'm sure by uh, Mr. Gilmore. But we're requesting a 19 to 48 on count one. And we're also requesting a 12 to 30 on count two. And we're asking that those run consecutive. She wanted me to do a 19 to 48 and all this shit. And she wanted it to sit up there, you understand me, and be consecutive instead of coherent. Man, bitch, I'm looking at the whole time. This faggot ass bitch. Come on. I feel that's an appropriate sentence um, for a number of reasons. The facts and circumstances of this case certainly warrant it. Uh, the victim, Lakeisha Jordan, was 14 years old at the time of this case. Uh, she was just a child. I'm thinking to myself, bitch, I'm the motherfucking victim. I've been in the county 13 months, ain't been able to do no motherfucking pimping, eating top ramen soups in this motherfucker, came in here 255 pounds, now I stand before you 182. You understand me, bitch? I'm ready to get out and back to this pimping. I'm just telling you what's going through my mind at this time. Talking about victim. I'm in my mind like shit. She lied to me. With a motherfucking fake idea, you talking about some this victim, this little ass girl. What about this handsome ass pimp that can't do no pimping because I'm locked up? Come on. Uh, and she was pregnant. Uh, the defendant denied having sexual intercourse with her, and yet after that baby was born, DNA was done, and sure enough, it comes back as the defendant's baby. So we have a 24 year old man having sexual intercourse with a 14 year old. No. No. And that's another thing y'all got fucked up. If my birthday is April 30th of 1984, and according to the paperwork, you know, because uh, some, uh, uh, she couldn't keep up basically with her dates. Like, you need all four interviews. One time she said the 14th, then the other time she said the 15th. But either way, the 14th, the 15th is before the 30th. So at that time, I was 23 years old. She was 14 going on 15. So basically, you know what I mean? When the child came, she was 15 years old. At that time when she was 14, when I met her, I thought that she was 19 because of the fake identification and also the appearance and not just the appearance with the things that she was telling me, with the places that she been, the people she's been around, the places that she hold at. They trying to make this into a girl basically that was walking around selling Girl Scout cookies, and this is a girl that's been selling pussy since the age of 11 with her mama. This ain't the same thing. Come on. Little girl. Uh, he's not just a pimp, Judge. Uh, he's a sex offender. He preyed on a 14-year-old girl, Prayed. had sexual intercourse with her, and now uh, is father to child. The second reason is he accepts absolutely no responsibility whatsoever. Uh, he denies being a pimp. How is he a sex offender if he didn't know the girl's age? And if you truly thought that he was a sex offender, then why did you guys even offer a deal? Why would you come off of a fucking 15 and 30 and reduce it all the way to a one to four category D felony? Because anybody that know Vegas shit, the time coming from the front and the back. So, of course, when people say it, sin was disrespectful, he said the girl had the continence of a whore. I got this white woman sitting over there calling me a sex offender in front of everybody. And, I, and anybody that know me know I wasn't like that. And at that time, you know, what I mean, I'm, I was 24 then. But I'm in my mind like, man, she just talking crazy about and then my lawyer. He ain't saying nothing. He's so busy trying to get probation. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't give a fuck whether they give me probation or not. I wanted to get the probation, but you have to understand that I already had 13 months counted. You already then gave me the one to four category D felony. So whether you give me the probation or not, even if I go to prison, I don't have that much long to do in prison. 
because you gave me this deal. So I wasn't about to kiss nobody ass. Hell no. So when she said, oh, my God, he said it again. I was like, yeah, she had the continence of a whore at all time of the day. What did you think I was going to think? So, of course, I was mad. So when they sitting over there trying to, oh, my God, this sweet little girl, her innocence. And all, that's not what it was. That's not that's not the true vision of what it is. You can't make somebody that been in prostitution since the age of 11, 11 years old, which is sad with her mama. You can't make this a little house on the prairie Girl Scout cookie thing. That's not. No, 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 no. Come on. Which uh, is a coincidence then that the night he's arrested, he's in a hotel room with two females, both of whom have multiple arrests for soliciting prostitution and loitering for the purpose of prostitution. And that's what I was afraid of, where she just said, when I got arrested, that is true. I was with Gigi. I was with Tasty. Now, if we gonna keep this thing on a lawful conversation, even though I'm with two prostitutes who have a uh, arrest history for prostitution and solicitation, you must remember at that time, I have nothing for pandering and living other earnings of prostitution. I don't have really no criminal history. But at the same time, I got all of these cases pertaining to pandering and living other earnings of prostitution. So that's what I was afraid of going to trial because you have multiple women. You got a total of six women and everything pertaining to you is always something with pandering. So I was like, ah, I don't know. It's a dice roll. It's not like as far as a star, I was winning that case with winning colors. But as far as Gigi, I was like, ah, did she tell the police you uh, was at the room? You got to remember, you know what I mean? Not only did she get that information, they got that information from star, bro. But you got to remember that the Gigi bitch, she didn't have no... Um, ID, even though she was 24 going on 25 at the time, you know, um, the room, basically, it was easy to get me because I was the only one coming up in the plaza suited and booted. I just got to keep that real. You know, what I mean, it's, it's blessings and consequences with, you know, dressing to par. I was the only one coming up in that motherfucker. I was the only one that was coming to the Greyhound and coming to the Fremont experience and coming to the airport, you know what I mean, dressed like that. Well, freeze, you know, and everything. But I stuck out like a sore thumb. All you had to do was say, you know what I mean, the guy that be coming, you know what I mean, with them suits, and they knew exactly who you was talking about. Come on. The victim in this case um, was also a victim in the battery domestic violence case that he had that was eventually dismissed. Uh, and another... A uh, female that he had contact with also has arrest for solicitation. That lets you know that the case is weak. She's bringing up cases that was dismissed. Kind of like what they doing in other cases that I'm seeing. Why are you bringing up dismissed situations? Come on. In prostitution. So it's uh, just a coincidence then that he keeps being found with all these women who are prostitutes. And yet he denies being their kid. Um, all right, let's rewind. The defendant in the statement, a uh, female that he had contact with also has arrest for soliciting prostitution so uh, just a coincidence then that he keeps being found with all these women who are prostitutes and yet he denies being their pimp um the defendant in his statement to parole and probation says the state of nevada was being on, crafty the night he's arrested he's in a hotel room with two females both of whom have multiple arrests for soliciting prostitution and loitering for the purpose of prostitution the victim in this case um was also a victim in the battery domestic violence case that he had that was eventually dismissed. Uh, and another uh, female that he had contact with also has arrests for soliciting prostitution. So uh, just a coincidence then that he keeps being found with all these women who are prostitutes, and yet he denies being their kid. Um, the defendant in his statement to parole and probation says the state of Nevada was being crafty, and that's why he's in the situation that he's in. He takes no responsibility for the impact he has had on the women that he's encountered his life. Those prostitutes, the, the, these women that he's turned into prostitutes or at least encouraged them to prostitute. Not to mention the 14 year old juvenile that he impregnated. Um, Judge, the most important thing to pimps is getting out of jail because that's where they make their money. Um, 
he's been in custody for 397 days and rightfully so. Uh, there's a reason that he's been in jail. We're asking that he stay in. Um, he prayed on this 14 year old little, 14 year old little girl and had intercourse with her. But what did he tell you is his main concern? Getting out so he can get on with his music career. That's what's important to this defendant. Not fathering or, or supporting the child that he just had with this 14 year old. Um, all of those things together, Judge Warren, a 19 to 48 and a 12 to 30 consecutive. We think. I got to be real. The whole time I'm feeling like Doughboy from Boys in the Hood when his mama was talking and he was like, are you finished? I got to go. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm just being 100. I'm not trying to give you somebody that I'm not. The whole time she was talking like, man, come on, man. Like, I done accepted the deal. Let's move on. You, just don't, you sitting over there trying to make me, you know, this 14 year old, but she never brings up false identification. She never brings up the police being deceived. She never brings up that Jennifer Harper, which is Gigi, was, uh, came to visit me with my grandmother's last name. She used a fake ID while she was on probation for identity theft. These, these are the things that are not being used. She's not saying that we uh, had multiple interviews with the minor without a legal guardian. That's what she's not bringing up, but come on. The probation recommendation by the division is wholly inappropriate in this case, and we're gonna submit it on that. You wanna say anything, Mr. Gilmore? Hell yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to say, first y'all, I'd like to say that I should have been let out of uh, jail. I, it shouldn't have took 13 motherfucking months, you know what I mean? And this whole situation fucked up my summer. You know what I mean? I'm in here eating Top Ramen soup, the soap that I'm using sometimes it break my skin out. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't like, you know what I mean, the hot water in the North Tower. Sometimes it be scorching hot. You know what I mean? That mess up my skin. And another thing, Your Honor, I want to say is the whole time I've been in here, you know what I mean? Sometimes they be taking our free time. You know what I mean? Uh, I remember one time we couldn't even finish our basketball game because y'all had locked us down. You know what I mean? Another thing I want to say, Your Motherfucking Honor, you understand me, is that. It was a hoe that wanted to visit me one time, you know what I mean? But because they said she wasn't dressed properly, you know, she couldn't see me. You know, what's up with that? You know what I mean? Is you hating on pimping? Is you coming against pimping? Is you an agent judge? Yeah, you know what I mean? And uh, another thing I want to know is, you know what I mean? Will the state give me a jug so, you know what I mean? I can get back on my feet and pimp because when y'all let me put uh, come back in society, you know what I mean? I'm coming back with no motherfucking currency. You know what I mean? Y'all talking about this little girl, the victim, this little girl, 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 girl lied. You know what I mean? And you understand me? Y'all sitting over here crying and whipping and shit, but what you ain't thinking about is the summer that I missed being in the county. You understand me looking at all these ugly ass niggas when I should have been in the streets pimping my motherfucking ass off. You took time out my motherfucking youth, your honor. You understand me? And what I want to know is, is it a way that I could sue y'all motherfucking ass because I'm a young, beautiful pimp that should have never lost, you understand me, young years out of my life to pimp. I'm one of the coldest young pimps that ever motherfucking lived. You understand me? So this whole situation is fucked up. You know, I really hope that, uh, you know what I mean, the courts see it my way. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even have to do no time or none of that. I should definitely uh, be reimbursed. You know what I mean? I should at least come home to a clean ass lack, some some cool suits. I can't fit none of my suits no more. You know what I mean? Because I done lost quite a few pounds, Yana. You know I'm fine as hell. I let my hair grow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. The bitches gonna be feeling me when I get back. You know what I mean? But yeah, Yana. That, that's what I really wanted to say. I can't give you a YouTube image like they'd be doing. Being somebody that they not. That's what I really wanted to say. I was trying to keep that shit, you know what I mean, all right. But if you really want to know what I wanted to say, that's what I wanted to say. This little girl, bitch, are you thinking about me? Are you thinking about this pimping? Are you thinking about this fine-ass black man that was lied to and I lost time out of my life and my grandmother is sick right now? And my mother had to visit, come, come out from Chicago to visit me, but it's like, man, that's what I was really thinking. Come on.
she felt to mention him this time. Miss Lakeisha Jordan lied about her age with Boston. Notice what I said. I came out the door swinging. Notice that nobody said, Mr. Gilmore, that's a lie. Notice that the district attorney didn't say uh, Philip Gilmore is lying. When I said that she lied with false identification. Because that's what they didn't mention. So when she was doing all of this ripping and saying that I was this and that, she never said that. You know, the girl did lie about her age and she does admit that, you know, with false identification and the other hoes did sit up there and agree to that. And she did deceive the police with that same fucking ID. She was in the county for three days. Your honor. Like none of that shit. It's just, you know, man, yeah, the, you're a monster. You should like, come on, man. So that's why I was like, man, just hurry up, man, and run this shit, man, so I can get back pimping. Come on. When she admits in the interview that she said she was 19, not only did she lie about her age with false identification, and she admitted that. Hold on, let's go back. Hold on, I said that in court, but nobody brings this up in their YouTube videos. I said this in court, nobody said that I was lying. Let's go. First I'd like to say, when I said Morton, Nicole Morton, that's tasty. Jennifer Harper, that's Gigi. She's sitting right there. Nobody sat up there and said, he's lying. Only thing she was talking about was DNA. No, I wasn't going to admit anything. Man, you have, you have to understand, in court, everybody lying. So when it came to the DNA part, you know, seeing you was lying about that. or what did you, Yeah, but what, was, but what was they lying about? Nigga, in court, everybody got this side and that side. So I know what the district attorney was doing. The district attorney was doing their job. I would be doing the same thing if I was on that side of the field. You only care about, you know what I mean, what you're talking about. So I know exactly what, you know, she was doing. And she was great at doing that. But notice that when I spoke that, nobody said anything until we got to the child part. You know what I mean? Because in my mind, I'm just going to keep it all the way uh, 100 with you. I was like, man, even then, I was like, man, they, they playing, man. You know what I mean? I still didn't. I was sincerely, in my head, I was like, mm, nah, nah. They trying to basically say that, you know what I mean, uh, she got a child to, you understand me, deceive. You know what I mean? That's just how, come on, man. I'm just telling you how I think. I'm the pimp, and I think everybody's sitting over there using game and trying to sit up there and manipulate. Come on now. So when everybody was like, oh, my God, he's even arguing with the judge. Woo, 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 woo. You stupid motherfucker. You know what I mean? I, I could care less if it was 50 judges up there. I was going to be the only one going against the whole world saying, no, nah, no. Nah. I did exactly what the fuck I was supposed to do. Did you expect me to cry in court? Did you expect me to fold in court like you've seen niggas do? No. So that's why she had a lot about her age. What she also failed to bring up was the case with the domestic violence and the other pander and the so-called alleged victims on this case are of age. 19, 23, 22. I don't mess with kids. See what that was my main thing of letting it be known that I don't fuck with kids. Notice that I'm not coming out really denying the pimping. I'm denying the fucking with kids thing because I'm letting her know why are you not seeing the consistency of fucking with bitches that are adult age? Why is it all of these hoes and everybody is of age except one and the one is lying with false identification? So how the fuck do you make a motherfucker a sex offender or a pedophile if a motherfucker used false identification to lie? When I spoke, I wasn't denying the pimping. I mean, hell, I was like, I mean, they kind of got me. So 
I can admit that. Okay, yeah, I'm guilty. Yeah, I pimped. Okay, so what? Bring the time. Okay, living other earnings of prostitution. Yeah, I was sending the bitch. You know what I mean? I was sending uh, Jennifer Harper. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the star situation, you know what I mean? They know that that was off the false pretenses of me thinking that she was 19 years old. Come on. Instead, of something that I've done to make her assume that she couldn't be around me and say that she was 14. So that's why she had a lot about her age. What she also failed to bring up was the case with the domestic violence and the other pandering and the so-called alleged victims on this case are of age. 19, 23, 22. I don't mess with kids. I'm not no sex offender. You know, I don't mess with children. That's number one. As far as the pandering goes, the definition according to the state was to entice a woman to become a prostitute or get into a continuity of it. I didn't either. She said up there and she she said when they asked her, first of all, they had an interview with no parent, no guard and no lawyer there, so they were able to I'm saying the same thing I'm saying now. If you like pay attention, nothing has changed from the beginning to the ninth inning. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? They had to give me the deal. It wasn't, it wasn't no, oh, we're going to look out for him. No, stupid motherfucker. They had to give me the deal. Because the pandering, I had that beat. The earnings, I had that beat. The child endangerment, how, you, how do you convict somebody of child endangerment if they don't know the person is a, is a child? And then the child admits that he didn't know that I was a child. That was beaten. All of those charges were beaten. They had to give me that. They didn't do me no favor. So when you compare me to Brother Polite, how so? She's saying that Brother Polite has some type of physical force and putting finger in the mouth and allegedly uh, uh, putting his dick in her mouth and having a uh, controlled substance and all of that. Do you not understand that I don't, I've never been high or drunk in my life. Do you understand I'm 37 years old? I've never been high or drunk in my life. Do you understand that I've never encouraged my women to drink or get high for their birthday or something like that? I've allowed women to, you know, do their little thing or whatever, but I've never given a, a minor, you know, some weed or alcohol, bev uh, alcoholic beverage. I've never, I've never done any of that. So, you know, when I see people talking about some, uh, they got, they, he, they the same and all of this shit, nigga, how? It was deception in my, I didn't know her mama. I didn't know, like, what are you talking about? So I had to sit up there, man, and destroy that. They can keep making their videos. They're not going to get flagged for none of them. But I had to sit up there, you understand me? And, uh, if you can prove that the girl had, it's cool, not valid defense court. Nigga, you stupid, dumb motherfucker. She admits that within the paperwork, you dumb fuck. <laughs> How many times have I, I've, I've, I've said 1036381? You can see the shit for yourself. You looking at Keisha putting uh, charges uh, next to pictures. He's putting charges. Tell that bitch to go inside the motion of discovery. The motion, not the charges, you idiot. But I understand some people have never had a case before. So when you see allegations or charges on a piece of paper, you read it as if it's a conviction. It's not that. It's the charges. It's the allegation. When you see count one and count two and count three, those are charges. That's not what the person was convicted for. Big difference. I'm teaching you. So Keisha is good at putting, making smoke screens. And let me say that. I, have, I wasn't even thinking about that. How do y'all feel that y'all getting information from a guy that was convicted of rape? Did you not know that the guy that's presiding over the Folks Alert channel was convicted for rape? Or does it not matter because... You know, it's just basically fuck sinful and fuck freeze or fuck brother polite or fuck. You know what I mean? Like, did you know that? Do you care about that? That the guy that's presiding over the folks alert channel was a conv he's a convicted rapist. And he got the case overturned on a technicality.
but it was never proven that he was innocent, that he raped this girl, you know what I mean, at a club, in a bathroom. You're getting your information from some motherfucking, you understand me, janitor that was convicted of rape. So that's why I'm asking you, does that matter? Have you seen the individual that's putting the information out? Because his appearance is pretty much equivalent to Brother Polite. No, I don't post him because he's a nobody. Nobody really likes going back and forth with Keisha because it's like a baby mama that just don't give up. She just keep calling and keep calling. She's like, Keisha is like that bitch that just keep calling from different numbers and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? That's just, that's, he, that's, that's a bitch inside of a male's body. But this is, this is facts. Matter of fact, I'm trying to think, uh, I'm trying to think of his government name. Who remember his government name? Um... It's going to come to me. You can search it up for yourself. You don't have to believe me. Uh, I'm trying to think of Keisha's a government name right now. Rayon Payne. I think it's uh, Rayon Payne. Yeah, Rayon Payne. That's his government name. The guy that's presiding, the guy that's putting out everybody information, talking about everybody's uh, ca uh, court cases, calling everybody a snitch, Calling everybody a sex offender, but he never wants to speak on his rape case. He never wants to talk about why he was convicted, not allegations, convicted for rape. Sit up there and threw that girl down, pinned her down and took the coochie. You're listening to somebody that took pussy from a bitch. And is a janitor. Do you not understand that he desires to be the pimpin? He hates and he's jealous of what he had never be. So he sits his ugly, demonic, awkward, peculiar looking ass behind a fucking computer all day looking up information on individuals that he desires to be. Every pimp that he's ever spoke on, he wanted to be. Charm, he wanted to be. G. Gov, he wanted to be. Young Lace, he wanted to be. Gorgeous Dre, he wanted to be. Freeze, he wanted to be. Sinful to pee, he never could be. I could go, Kenny Red, I could go on. Uh, uh, Bishop Don Magic Wand, he done spoke on everybody. Silky Slim, every nigga that he done spoke on, he want to be. When y'all gonna get that through y'all head? That's why me and Gov used to get back because he didn't listen. I used to tell Gov, man, leave that nigga alone. By you and Silky acknowledging him and keep going back with the videos, all of that shit, it's never going to end the way you think it's going to end. That's a, a bitch ass nigga that has way too... Do you not understand that niggas that's in prison, they don't even have the time that Keisha has. Keisha has more time... And, and when I call him Keisha, because I'm calling him, you know what I mean, uh, as a bitch. But he got more time on his hand than niggas in prison. Niggas in prison don't even got the time this nigga got. Niggas in prison got to go to school. They got to uh, work because they trying to cut some of that time down. Some of them got jobs in the kitchen. They don't, niggas in prison don't even have the time that Keisha got. That bitch got too much time on his hand. Way too much time. What grown ass man get up thinking about other men every day? Y'all should have quit fucking with him the moment that you seen him in a picture with lug boots on with a Dada Supreme shirt. You understand me? With a, a, a fucking boo boo, a boo foo, not even foo boo, a boo foo hat on. Next to a bitch. And it was like 2000 and I want to say 17 and 18. And he was still wearing Lug's boots. Who does that? 
You can just look at this man's face and I guarantee you that's bliss. I'm just going to put y'all on. Lace is, uh, this ain't against lace. Lace is cool. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know what I mean? That's what I was pressing for. Not going to speak too much, but I really wanted, matter of fact, I ain't even going to say that. He know what I'm saying without me saying it. But nigga, he wanted to sit up there and keep you in court and go to court with you. Sinful wanted you to get prayed for. The moment that your address and motherfuckers knew where you stayed and all of that shit, I couldn't understand why motherfuckers wanted to take you to court, bitch. I wanted you prayed for. If I had your information, I wanted you personally prayed for, nigga. I wanted to help you get to God, get you prayed for. I didn't want you to go to court. Fuck all of that. You didn't did way too much bitch shit to go to court. You already know me and you can't see each other. We could never see each other. You know the person that you are on the internet, you not that in person because bitch, you can't go nowhere. How come you never see Keisha in a picture with niggas in it? You've never seen him in no picture with niggas in it. You know what I mean? With the pimping in it. None of that. Every nigga that he's been around has pretty much been faulty. Y'all can take it how y'all feel. Every nigga that was around him didn't have no character. The people that he met physically in person from the game, I don't even count that. They didn't have no character. Because any motherfucker with street principles would have had you pray for him. They would have did it themselves or had something done. So, bitch, you can take that how you want it. I can give a fuck if you make a thousand videos, ho. You understand me? I can give a less fuck. I can give a less fuck about your existence because me personally, I think you were a big reason as to why Maroy ain't even here. You did a lot of shit that made that man accelerate to his expiration date a lot faster with that stress you was putting on Maroy. Facts. But, you know... Motherfuckers continue to watch him and support him. And I just don't understand how you get information from a convicted rapist. How does a convicted rapist get to speak on charges, charges, not convictions, charges of other individuals? That's sick. That, that's, that's sick. A nigga that got convicted for rape. He can't speak on the allegations of nobody. You was proven to be guilty in court. You talking about DNA? It was DNA that was found in the bitch that you raped. But I already know that because it's just jealousy and hatred for me, that I'll be the only one receiving any negativity. They're not going to make a thousand videos, a hundred videos. Notice that you don't see people going live and talking about how the guy that's giving up all the playing with paperwork, the guy that's speaking on charges of everybody was convicted for rape. Rayon Payne. That's who's behind the Folks Alert channel. A convicted rapist. Matter of fact, before I leave, let's get into Monty. Since he decided to bring his ugly ass and keep bringing his ugly ass and no talent ass in my business. Because he's not even funny. Hold on. He's a, this motherfucker having a conversation with a little girl that's like 15, 16 years old at the time. I think 16. And he's telling her he got naked pictures of her in his phone. And I'm just showing you guys that you have actual people who are pedophiles and hebophiles speaking on individuals that's none of that, but just called a charge for it. Ran into some bullshit. But you got the actual thing, the actual pedophile or hebophile getting on YouTube 
putting on an Oscar Award performance like they ain't that and speaking on the charges of individuals is if they're not involved in it. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Hypocrisy at its highest. But let's get to uh, Miss Woodgrain. Hold on. Let me fast forward to that conversation. Hold on. Let's see. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to get I ain't trying to where is the And then think about it, how would Jimmy get the naked pics? Okay, let's go back. Hold on. <laughs> really? That's not making a man, that's kinda of bigging him up if you think about it. <laughs> It didn't make him mad because it made him look like. <laughs> it actually didn't make him mad though. How did it make him mad though? Think about it. You, you, you tell. You tell them. Hold on, before they get to the naked pictures. Damn, I hope I don't gotta listen to this whole thing. This nigga. This is our first time ever even talking. This nigga. Is weird. Like Damn. What's this snake rope saga? I hope, I hope Monty blow all the way up because I'm going to blow up two off his ass. I'm going to blow up big time. Damn this dude, Corny. Hey, he even Speak mention my name. Classics. What's up? Um, he I'm just about look to call Kayla V on speakerphone. I'm recording this video so that way that protects me. And um, it's my proof. I got her number through a third party. She want me to call her. So I'm going to give her a call and see if we can get to the bottom of this mess that's going on with this snake rope saga. He's going to admit that his wife is in the house and he don't want his wife to hear him talking to this teenager. Come on. Hello? Michaela. Yeah. Yeah, this is Monty. Yeah. This guy was phone with Jimmy. He said y'all had a long conversation. Now, what the hell is going on? Okay, so Jimmy thought I was snake broke because, you know, my affiliation with him. So I was telling Jimmy, you know, I'm not snake broke, you know, everything he does is on his own, you know, I just and then, like his video. The question I want to ask you, like, well, why would you help Snake Loke snake when, sex. man, you never met? We, this is our first time ever even talking. The reason why, like, I stick with Snake Loke is because, you know, I know him, per like, I know him personally, like, it's not just YouTube, it's like, also YouTube, too. I'm thinking, like, Snake Loke. That whole account was controlled by you and a few other people. I don't really give a fuck about WH. I, the Snake Look thing, like, so do you mean to tell me somebody that lives all the way in supposedly all right, well, California? For starters, how old are you? I'm 17. Like, now, you said you were 17 like a year ago or two years ago. Yeah, last year I was 16. She's saying that she's 17, and he said you said you were 17 a year or two years ago. Just right there, this conversation is just weird. Now, this is supposed to be somebody, he just got through speaking on me like the day before yesterday. I mean, he was going in, pedophile. And, oh, we got to save the children. We got to look out for the kids because it's pedophiles running in the world. People like Brother Polite. People like sinful to pee. We got to protect the kids. So Tisha Nathan say, protect the kids. I mean, he was going in. He was going hard with the preaching. You know what I mean? The day before the yesterday. You know what I mean? They need to unsubscribe. They need to block sinful to pee. They need to sit up there and leave that nigga alone. That nigga like kids. I mean, he was going hard. Now, does this sound like somebody that really love kids and that really hate pedophiles and hebophiles? And he just said, you said you were 17. 
you know, uh, 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 last year or the year before that. Oh, yeah, the jazz joint is the shit. That's classic. There's going to be other one jazz joints playing, too. So, I mean, he was going hard. Hit my like button. Let's get them likes to 400. You know what I mean? He was going hard with the preaching. And now you about to listen to this dude and he's about to not only admit to basically uh, seeing the pictures of this minor, but he's had the, <laughs> the pictures of this minor resided and abided in his phone. Child porn. We don't know if this guy been participating in masturbation while having thoughts within his mind about fornicating with this young minor. Good afternoon. But yet he's painting this picture to be a righteous individual, but you're on the phone and you knew that this was wrong because you didn't want your wife to know that you was talking to a teenager. And I could just assume that you went downstairs or upstairs because we heard stairs in the beginning of the conversation. So maybe you went to the basement so your wife couldn't hear the volume of your voice while you was having this, uh, you know, inappropriate, you know, conversa inappropriate conversation with this minor. Yeah, this, this conversation was totally inappropriate. Naked. She got naked photos in your phone. And you hate pedophiles. You hate you hate hepophiles. You hate uh, people playing with kids and you got child porn in your phone. This who y'all listening to? Hold on, what they say, is this your king? Is this your queen? Come on. But I'm 17 now, and I'm about to be 18 in less than a month. So what's going on with the Snake Loke situation? Because, I mean, it, it, it's, this shit's out of control. So let's say that we all were to, like, get in trouble, like me and Snake Loke were to get in trouble. Hold on, no, I'm going to go back. Tanya Crystal is a federal worker. I want to go back to him repeating that You know what I'm saying? Things are being investigated right now. All right. Now, what the hell is going on? Okay, so Jimmy thought I was snake because, you know, my affiliation with him. So I was telling Jimmy, you know, I'm not snake you know, everything he does is on his own, you know, I just and then, like his video. The question I want to ask you, like, well, why would you help Snake Loke when, when man, you never met? We, this is our first time ever even talking. The reason why, like, I stick with Snake Loke is because, you know, I know him, per like, I know him personally. Like, it's not just YouTube, it's like, off of YouTube, too. I'm thinking like Snake Loke, that whole account was controlled by you and a few other people. I don't really give a fuck about WH. I, the Snake Loke thing, like, so do you mean to tell me somebody that lives all the way in supposedly right, well, California? For starters, how old are you? I'm 17. Like, now, you said you were 17 like a year ago or two years ago. Yeah, last year I was 16, but I'm 17 now, and I'm about to be 18 in less than a month. So, so what's going on with the Snake Loke situation? Because, I mean, it, it, it's... This shit's out of control. So let's say that we all were to like get in trouble, like me and Snake Loke were to get in trouble. Snake And you like, you got our IP addresses, you got our URLs. You would know that me and him are different because his, his IP address is all the way out in LA. Mine is in North Carolina. We're just two different people. Two different people. The stuff he does is what he does. Listen, listen. If you, if you so-called had pool to get Snake Loke to take to leave Jimmy alone, why you don't have pool to get uh, Snake Loke to leave Snake me alone? Loke. Because what he was doing, what he was doing before I even, like, started operating, he was doing all that before I was like, it's hate for you, it's strong. I'm just going to put it out there, it's strong. Well. Every time when I was talking, he just has so much rage, he does not like you. He thinks what you're doing is bad. All right, so why, why don't he come see me then so we can fight? Like, it's hate for you, strong. I'm just gonna put it out there, it's strong. Well. Every time when I'm talking, he just has so much rage, he does not like you. He thinks what you're doing is bad. All right, so why, why don't he come see me then so we can fight? And let's get it over with. Is he a gangster? Let's fight. I, I told him that before, I'm dead serious. Like, you, you don't like me, fuck putting pictures up, come see me, and let's fight and get it over with, and the best man wins. I would rather that than the same... Monty, you're not going to fight nobody. You look like you're about five foot five by the grace of God. You got the height of a bitch. 
You got the physique, uh, the physique. I said the physique. Lord help me. That's that Mississippi trying to come out. Uh, <laughs> did I just say a physique? I said you got the the uh, deceit. <laughs> I said that nigga got the deceit of a bitch. I didn't even say physique. I said he got the deceit of a bitch, but he do got the de deceit of a bitch. But yeah, man, your physical stature is of a bitch. You're not trying to fight nobody, man. Don't nobody believe you, man, talking about some, you know, where you at so we can fight, man. Knock that shit off, man. Knock that off. You're not fighting nobody, little mama. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not funny. You're not fighting nobody. You're not going to kill nothing. You're not going to let nothing die. You know what I mean? Like, come on, Monty, man. Come on. Who believe this? Come on. No bullshit on YouTube. That's what men do. You got a problem with a person, you fight them. Tanya Crystal is a federal worker. And all the shit ties in. You know what I'm saying? Things are being investigated right now as we speak. And we, I'm we tired of it because it's like, okay, fun and games. Whatever. Watch this. <laughs> it's not cool because I know I, I know for a fact in the state of Alabama, league, our legal age ain't no 17, it's still 18. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if y'all had sex or not. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think y'all. Did y'all have sex? Did y'all have sex? Why are you asking a minor that is not your daughter? You know what I mean? Like, she's not in your family. You're not no minister. You're not trying to encourage her to live for God. Look at the way he even acts. Did y'all have sex? Did y'all have sex? Come on, man. This is what we have. We have people. This is what I keep telling y'all. It's the pedophile hustle. Any guy that they find that has pedophile charges or, you know, or, or, or hebophile charges or something like that, they try to make it seem like they love children and, you know, they just going to kill any pedophile and hebophile in sight. You know, they just going to go to an R. Kelly concert and they going to shoot 12 bullets while R. Kelly is just shooting and singing 12 play. That's the, that's the whole thing on YouTube to generate some money. And to get melanated pussy is to deceive y'all that they love the kids. But he just asked this girl, did y'all have sex? Look at the way he even asked that. The spirit that he had even asking that question was perverse. He has a very perverted spirit when he's even asking that. The spirit of masturbation is just proceeding all through the phone. Did y'all have sex? Come on. Mm, no. Yeah, well, you know. Wow, well, like I said, I'm I'm not gonna put your I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. Sir, why is that even in the conversation? You're a grown ass woman. You're a grown ass black woman. Why is that even in the conversation, sir? I'm not going to put your naked pictures out there. Bitch, why is that even an option, ho? Why do you even have power? Why are you even presiding over naked pictures of a minor? You said out of your own mouth, oh, you said you were 17 last year or the year before that. So it's a possibility that he's been talking to her or knew of her and everything since she was 15. Did you just hear what he just said? Oh, I'm not going to put your naked pictures out there. Bitch, why you even got the power to do it, ho? Matter of fact, I can't call him no ho. A ho is an honorable title. I can't call this nigga no ho. I apologize to all the hoes. But, you know what I mean? You mark-ass nigga sitting over there speaking on me and you having this nasty-ass perverted conversation with a teenager. Nigga, how dare you sit up there and bring my name on your motherfucking nut-ass platform? All them damn weirdos. You look like the fucking model for sex offend uh, a sex offender. If it was a model for sex offenders, bitch, it would be you. If they came out with a sex offender uh, magazine, bitch, it would be your motherfucking awkward, peculiar looking ass right on the motherfucking front cover, ho. What are you talking about? Speaking on sex offenders and you look like you just the model of the shit. You on the front cover. 
And if a motherfucker even look up pedophile, it look like you would just be there smiling. You should be the last person trying to make jokes or anything. And let me say another thing. To roast Hassan is one thing, but to make over 300, 400 videos about Hassan, you're obsessed with Hassan. You want Hassan to be your, uh, he, you want basically Hassan to give you that bambata. You want Hassan to sit up there and uh, be, do the Johnny Gill and love you the right way. Because ain't no man gonna make 400 videos about Hassan. He's not that important, my guy. Hold on, man. Damn, all of these, hold on. Hello? Hey, Sue. Do you know I'm live right now, right? Oh. You know I'm live right now, right? Don't say hey, live. Live ain't thinking about you, bitch. You know I'm live right now, right? I didn't know. I do. I, I'll talk to you once I get off the live. God bless you. All right. All right. I didn't know. I didn't know. Because, bitch, you know you're supposed to text first. Yeah, bitch. Hey, live. They always do that. It just in a bitch to do that. Hey, live. Hey, live. Hey, live. How much I'm paying her? I'm paying her pipping every day. I'm paying, you understand me, inspiration. I'm paying ism every day. I've been sitting over there giving her payments of game every day. You right. I've been paying the shit out of her with some pippin. Yeah. How much I'm paying. Nigga, that's like me asking you how many times you dated your mama. You know what I mean? See how disrespectful that is? You know what I mean? That's, that's wrong for me to do that. You know what I mean? But it's scratch that. I ain't going to do that. You know, hold on. That's like me asking you why you was telling everybody you was a madam in school and you was a little ass boy. Why are you telling people that you a madam when you a little ass boy? A little ass boy that's in grammar school shouldn't be telling kids that he's a madam. Son, where you get that shit from? All right, let's go. You know what I mean? Man, these mamas cooking uh, niggas is weird. Telling people that you a, you a motherfucking uh, madam. And you was a little ass boy. Like, you knew your future. All right, come on. No. Yeah, well, you know. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to put your, I'm not going to put your naked photos out there. That sound is so nasty. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. We can, we, you know what I mean? We can, we can, that, nigga, I'm allowing you to breathe. If you say one more motherfucking corny AOL Yahoo email ass joke one more time, I'm gonna delete your ass out my chat. Stop talking, goofy. I'm presiding over this shit right now. I deal with you little goofy motherfuckers that ain't gonna have nothing, you know what I mean, respectable in your obituary. You know what I mean? I deal with y'all later on. God damn. Hey, get rid of that bitch. Cancel that motherfucker. Ma should have been canceled you. Get that bitch up out of here. All right, moving on. Like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna put your, I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. The way his tone, I ain't gonna put your naked pictures out there. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you can talk to me. You know what I mean? You know, we could chop it up. You know, we could be friends. You know, <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna put your naked photos out there. Did y'all have sex? <laughs> Did you ride them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell me. I ain't gonna put your naked pictures out there. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. Yeah. That, like, why are you sounding slick and nasty, you know what I mean, talking to a teenager? 
but you had the nerve to speak on my name, bitch. This is you. See, they don't have no visual recordings of me, of me getting that note. Do you understand that I had no history prior to that case? Do you understand that I have not caught any case or been in any situation similar to that? Do you understand that there's multiple situations that would show basically of you being a freak of nature? You know what I mean? You're just a dweeb, man. Stay in your little lane, dude. You keep making little videos and shit, but I'm just letting you know I done called you out. I done pulled your pedophile card. So you trying to basically come with this self-righteous spirit. Uh, people that, you know what I mean, just basically that, you know, are not pedophiles or hebophiles, they don't get down like this. They don't have inappropriate conversations with no minor like this. Did you have sex? <laughs> you can tell me. I, you know, I go put your, I go put your photos out there, what, bitch. Why you even got her photos? Come on. Um, I ain't gonna do that. Nasty. Hold on. What he be doing? What Hassan be doing? What kind of man? What kind of man? What kind of man? And I could just hear Hassan. You know, uh. Look at this. And you motherfuckers watch Monty Woodgrain? That piece of shit? Yeah. Sitting over there having a conversation with a minor talking about some, I ain't gonna put your naked photos out there. Bitch, why do you even have them? Yeah, well, you know, well, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna put your I'm not gonna put your naked photos out there. Um, I ain't gonna do that. Wait, so Kevin really did say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <you> think, <laughs> can you like can you describe to me what they look like? Like, he said, it, I gotta go on my phone because I'm in my basement and shit. I don't want my wife hearing this damn conversation, but I don't want my wife to hear. This conversation. Why you don't want your wife to hear this conversation? If the conversation that you're having is appropriate, why can't you speak about this in front of your wife, Monty? See, bitch, you knew this was wrong. You knew that this conversation was contrary to that which is right, bitch. But you sitting over there uh, pointing your finger, but like that old song say, Bitch, you need to sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. You on here having an inappropriate conversation and you knew it was inappropriate because you just confirmed it right there. You know, I don't want my wife to hear. Yeah, because you knew your wife was going to sit up there, you understand me, and go upside your head. Shout out to uh, Cash at me. Shout out to all the ladies up in here. He just confirmed it. Just confirmed. Yeah, I don't want my wife to hear this. I ain't going to put your naked pictures out there. I don't want my wife to hear this. I ain't going to put your naked pictures out there. Nasty ass nigga. And watch the bitch. The bitch about to say, I got him. I can prove I got him. I mean, if you want me to put him out there, I'll put him out. This is a grown ass male. A grown ass male Jezebel ass nigga talking about something. If you don't believe me, I could put him out there. Watch, it even get worse. Cause um, she don't like this YouTube bullshit. You know what I mean? She don't even like me fucking with this shit. But he sent me. It was one shot with the titties. So you got a picture in your phone or on your computer of a minor showing her titties. Okay, come on. He sent me It was one shot with the titties I think you had your shirt off It was something like that You had like a, a bra on I'm trying to remember I gotta, I gotta go get the pictures Whatever cause I, gotta... I gotta get the pictures Plural Not singular Plural I gotta get the pictures I got to get the pictures. Pictures. Okay, come on. A cell phone. He just admitted. 
It's in his cell phone. So you have child porn in your cell phone. I think you had your shirt off or something like that. You had like a, a bra on. I'm trying to remember. I got I to gotta go get the pictures, whatever, because I got them in my cell phone. And he sent me another one where it was like kind of like a side pic. And you can see your whole ass or whatever. You can see your whole ass. Why are you talking this sexy, so inappropriate to a minor? You don't even know if she's a real 17. You just said that she said that she was 17 last year. So why would you have this inappropriate conversation with a minor by sitting over there saying that, yeah, you had your whole ass out? Come on, man. You can't tell me that this nigga wouldn't fuck if she'd allowed him to fuck. You can't tell me that if she sat up there and said, I want you to eat my pussy, that his weird demonic looking ass wouldn't have got on his knees and ate her motherfucking pussy, man. Come on, man. This nigga's perverted. <laughs> Just nasty. I ain't gonna put your pictures out there. And he sent me another one where it was like kind of like a side pic, and you can see your whole ass or whatever. And I'm trying to think of the other one he sent me. It's not one he sent me, but it wasn't it, the other one. The, the bitch, you know, you didn't have to try to remember. You knew exactly what it was. Stupid ass nigga trying to play that role like, man, I'm trying to remember. Okay, it's one with the whole ass. Then it's, um, then it's the one with the titties. Come on, man. You know, you, you, the motherfucking pictures that you jagged off to. The motherfuckers that you didn't delete after finding out that it was a minor. The pictures that, you understand me, the, the reason why your phone was so sticky. Your wife was like, baby, why your phone so sticky? I tried to make a call because my phone was dead, so I just used your phone, but it was just so sticky. I told you, if you want to do that, you're supposed to be doing it with me. We married now. Baby, why you jagging off? And you got a whole wife. I'm sorry, baby. You know what I mean? You wasn't here. You know what I mean? Uh, I think you was at the store at the time. Goof ass nigga. Come on. Third one wasn't a naked shot. But he told me that he said... He sent you quite a, a couple pictures of his dick or whatever. And, um, you know, he was talking. Damn. You sitting over there saying a couple of pictures of his dick to a minor? Sad. Nasty to you. And, you know, you know how Kevin is talking his shit to you. Whatever, whatever. Y'all was supposed to be setting up, meeting up. So, I don't know. I mean... So if that's what you choose to do, y'all too. <laughs> You're a young adult, he's a grown ass man. Do whatever you gotta do. My thing is this. If y'all shared something between y'all two, why would he share it with other dudes? You gotta ask yourself that question. Because if y'all said, when you said, if you got. You, why would you have naked pictures in your phone of a minor? Why are you using words like dick and ass to a minor? You had your whole ass out. He showed you his dick. Why are you talking this nasty to a minor? That's the question. Some pictures, that's, that's supposed to be between y'all. I made that same mistake. I learn from my mistakes. If I make a mistake and I, if, if I'm cool with a dude, and we, we know, we, you know, men talk, you know, just like women talk, you know, we talk and shit, yeah, sure you look good, or blah, 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 and, you know, we might do this and do that. And the person go tell people, you know not to do it again. So, so there's some cold manipulation. He trying to shoot at her. He trying to get the trust of this minor right now. Come on. You've been around for a couple years now. You know Kevin ran his mouth. That's why you told him that story about WH Financial. WLH. And then when you get to why would you tell Kevin? 
<laughs> why would you tell Kevin, oh, he got a tennis dick and it wouldn't fit in my pussy and I'll just suck it? Like, why would you tell him that? Why are you talking like this to a minor? Village man. <laughs> really? That's not making a man. That's kind of bigging him up if you think about it. <laughs> Hold on. Why would you tell Kevin, oh, he got a tennis dick and it wouldn't fit in my pussy and I'll just suck it? Like, why would you tell him that? To make the village mad. <laughs> really? That's not making a man. That's kind of bigging him up if you think about it. <laughs> He's talking about a 10 inch dick with a minor. Do you understand the type of people that are speaking on this pimping? Young P, I hope you listening. Please, man. When you do an interview, you know what I mean? You have to basically do a thorough job. P, man, I looked at her ID. It's a fi the ID ain't official. That's not good enough. Look at the situation that I'm in. It's 2021, and we talking about shit from 2008, and I got these type of guys that's speaking on me. Those that just know my character, you know the type of man that I am. And I got a goofy like this speaking on me trying to get paid, trying to paint a picture of him being what I am. This nigga don't do nothing for kids or look out for kids. This nigga sitting over here talking about a 10 inch dick. There's somebody that he don't even know really that's an official 17. He said, you said you were 17 last year or maybe the year even before that. He don't even know. It didn't make him mad because it made him look like <laughs> it actually didn't make him mad though. How would it make him mad though? Think about it. You, you, you tell you tell another motherfucker he got a ten inch dick and um you only suck his dick, he won't have sex with you and you suck his feet. Come on now. Oh wait, wait. I never told him that I sucked his feet. Whoever So now you're in the basement. And you're trying to have a wild conversation off like this, Monty, because you think you slick, but you're talking to this teenage girl, but you're really trying to get her to say some explicit shit to get you basically erected. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get her to say things, you know what I mean, that, you know, get you off so you can masturbate. That's why you didn't want your wife around you. Because you're hoping for her to say something that is so nasty on something that she did with this dude that it gets you off in the basement. I actually hit up the village a couple of days ago. Because me and him were like kind of cool now. But I hit him up and I asked him like, why would you tell Monty that I fucked your toes? Because he don't have a foot phobia. I actually have a foot phobia. So you turned feet. And so he was like, I never told mom to that. So I remember told you that. No, I didn't say WH told me that. Kevin told me that. I got that from Kevin. Yes. Yeah. That's where I got that from. I don't talk to WH. I got that from Kevin. He told me that. He said that. Well, he's like, yeah, um, she sucked it. You sucked his dick. Um, his dick was too big to fit in your hole. So he, so he only stuck it in like once. And you sucked. Do you see the things that he's saying to a minor? Now, let me just ask y'all before we keep listening. Do you think, based off the things that you're hearing, do you think that if this girl wanted to have sex with Monty, that he would fuck? Let's say she's 16. Do you think that he would fuck if she let him? Yes or no? Let me know if I'm wrong. Do you think that Monty would fuck if she would let him fuck? In a heartbeat, damn. Two in the heartbeats, damn. Damn, without a doubt, damn. He's basically axing her. Right, KD, right. He's basically axing her. You smart. You got good discernment, exactly. He's indirectly, directly asking for the pussy. He trying to get the trust so he can get the thrust. We see you, man. His feet. And that's why I was like, hold up, that story don't make sense. I was like, hold the fuck up. 
Then <laughs> that's why I was like, hold, hold up, suck, suck the feet, suck his dick. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't he want to fuck? That don't make sense. If a woman's sucking my dick, I'm gonna fuck. If a woman sucks my dick, I'm going to fuck. Did you see? Did you hear what he just said to this minor? If a woman sucks my dick, I'm going to fuck. He's saying this to somebody who he knowingly knows that is a minor. If a woman sucks my dick, I'm going to fuck. Always remember that. No matter what Monty comes back with, he might go live. He can put a clown face on me. He can say whatever he want, but just always remember that Monty was the one that said to a minor, oh, I ain't gonna put your naked pictures out there. Oh, he said that, you know, he put a 10 uh, inch dick in your hole and it couldn't fit, so you would just suck his dick. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, she, you know what I mean? If a woman suck my dick, I'm gonna fuck. Just let that go through your head. So when he do his next live and he's speaking, always remember that this was the guy that knowingly knew no false identification, no fake ID, no uh, lying about. Well, you know, she probably did lie about her age in the beginning, but he knew that. And she just admitted that she was 17. So technically she was still even a minor, whether that was the truth or not. But we don't even know if she was really 17. So he knew basically that she was a minor and still proceeded on in the conversation to say inappropriate things. Always remember that this was the guy that told some 17 year old girl or 16 going on 17 little girl. Oh, if a woman suck my dick, I'm going to fuck. Yeah. So I'm like, hold up, that's, and then I thought about it. Why would another woman tell another man that, you know, Kevin trying to get with you about another man's, another man period, let alone his dick size. Because if a woman say to me, oh, well, such and such got a 10 inch dick and he won't let me, you know, it's too big for my pussy, but I'm gonna give you some pussy. That's like saying, oh, well, your shit way small. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like kind of like this the man in the way. I mean, that story, I knew that story had to be been fake. <laughs> we just played along with it because the shit was funny to me. It's fucking hilarious. I mean. <laughs> All this profanity used in a conversation with a teenage girl that he knowingly knew that was a teenage girl. But this is somebody who just loves children. And, oh, we got to get the pedophiles out of the community. And, oh, my God, we got to get sinful to pee off you too. This is the same guy. Come on. Oh, because it's troll accounts or his kids. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Don't you think? Hold up. I'm not the only one that Kevin pisses off. You got to remember that. It's up because of the shit he do. So running his mouth to a female, the same shit he do to you. He do to any other female. And then think about it. How would Jimmy get the naked pics? You ever think of that? Because mm -mm. I asked Kevin the other day, I was like, I asked him, I said, oh, you didn't tell me the truth. I was like, did you send anybody pictures that I sent you? He was like, no, I would never do that. Well, how the fuck Jimmy get them? How the fuck I get them? And then I asked Jimmy, Jimmy was like, um, if he had pictures, he would have put it out there already. Yeah, he's going to protect Kevin because he's cool with Kevin. I respect that. But he ain't going to put him out there for, for, for one, he don't have no reason to dirt you. Like far as like to put you out there like that, why would he do that? He ain't gonna, not to mention, you can't put nudity on YouTube. Shit. That's fact, you want me to put a troll account out tonight and show you pictures? If you think I'm lying, you want me to show you? You want me to cre uh, create a troll account and show you that I have the pictures? Do you want me to create a troll account to show you that I have adult porn in my phone. That's what he just said, pretty much. Would you like for me to create a troll account 
for the purposes of showing that I have been having child pornography located in my phone. That's what he's saying. <laughs> In fact, you want me to put a trailer account out tonight and show you pictures? If you think I'm lying, you want me to show you? No. I can show you. I can make a trailer account. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I ain't lying. <laughs> I got you. child pornography in my phone. Like, <laughs> I got some shit in my phone that could put me in prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got I got some shit in my phone that had me uh, be on sex registry. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. I call it. Uh, seven. And, and he's supposed to be roasting people. I don't give a fuck what this bitch come with. He can make whatever joke he want to make. You know what I mean? Because first of all, he's not funny. He's not well. He's not my definition of funny. I know what funny is. I'm funny. That's not funny. Imitating somebody. Yeah, you're going to get some laughs off that. You know, he's an imitator. I give him that. But as far as naturally being funny, roasting motherfuckers, that's not him. He has to get in a costume and, and play it out. But as far as actually being funny, saying things to promote laughter without getting in the bed with another man, because I think it was one video where he got in the bed with another guy. I'm like, damn, he didn't got to... You didn't have to go this far to prove your joke, dude. Like, Monty the type of dude that harassed some dick just to, like, make fun of Hassan. Monty the type that will suck another man's dick just to be like, yeah, this is what Hassan was doing to Bam. He's that type of dude. He'll get pregnant by another man just to show you what was transpiring between Bam and Hassan. He's that type of dude. Like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? This thong that I got on, this is how Hassan used to dress. He's that type of dude. He's not making you laugh at the joke. He's the joke. You're laughing at him. Come on. To your body. I can show you. I can make a troll count. <laughs> I call it a uh, 17 year old body. <laughs> and I can put it out. Now, this is somebody that loves children, but he said, I can make a troll account and call it 17 year old body. Always remember, whatever joke that comes out of his mouth, this is the same guy that said, I can make a troll account showing child pornography and name the channel 17 year old body that's what he said that's what this dumb fuck just said so always remember whatever joke he say out of his mouth when he go live on his channel whenever he do whatever he do this is the same guy that said out of his mouth i can make a troll account and i can name it 17 year old body Trying, yeah, trying to blackmail a minor. This is somebody that's supposed to love minors, love kids, but you talking about some blackmailing a minor? You know, I can show you if I got it right now. Like, you better be cool with me. Like, uh, you know, I got the naked pictures. I could, I could, goof ass nigga. If you think I'm lying, and I can show you, then you tell me if that's your body or not. Man, this music is good. I'm sad that this music had to be with this goofy, but this shit is right. What's up, folks? Let me get straight to the point. I want to direct your attention to my description box. I have a video that I need y'all to hear. Now, it's a recording of a conversation I had with Michaela, AKA Snake Lope. With a minor. Now, I'm gonna, the recording is an hour long. That's part one of it. 
I had that's part one of it. So you had an inappropriate conversation for an hour, sir. You were talking about how I got a picture with your full ass, another picture showing her titties. You're talking about 10 inch dicks. You're talking about, you know what I mean? If a woman suck my dick, I'm going to fuck. You talking about, oh, I, I got, I, do you want me to make a troll account and call it 17 year old body? This is the shit you said within your first part of the conversation that you said that was an hour. You had an hour, you talking to a minor for 60 minutes about what another man is doing with his dick with her. And then you even saying dick to her. And then you don't even know if she was actually even 17. But come on. So bear with the video, but listen to everything that you hear. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is this whole time, Snake Lope is Michaela. Snake Lope is not a crip. Snake Lope is not a man. That's Michaela. Now, in the video, the recording, she denies it. Matter of fact, what I will do is I will play, um, I will put this on my Patreon. Those of you that's on my Patreon, you'll be able to watch this in its entirety and hear the jazz music as you listen to this clown on my Patreon. Uh, mods, put the link to my Patreon in the comment section. I didn't mean to intend for this video to be that long. I just got lost in roasting you niggas like I always do. But mods, put the link um, to my Patreon in the comment section. Give the people an opportunity because I'm going to put this video on the Patreon. So make sure you come to the, uh, matter of fact, this ain't going on no $50. It's going to be on the $5 tier. And you have over a thousand videos, well, excuse me, you have over 1,100 videos on my Patreon to view. And this will be one of them. This definitely was going on my Patreon. You will be able to see this video. Matter of fact, I'm going to post this video on my Patreon right after I end this live. So y'all will be able to roast the fuck out of uh, Monty and say whatever the fuck y'all want on my Patreon. On Patreon, you got a little more, you know what I mean, uh, liberty. No, you didn't hear that I was in PC in prison because you knew that I have cellies. See, that's the difference between me and the YouTubers. You know what I mean? When I go live, I have people who actually did time with me from the county and prison. And the truth of the matter is whenever you have a case and you're a celebrity or you have a high profile case, they will automatically put you in PC. So you have to sign over your rights. You have to waive your rights to get back in. You understand me the main on the main line to get back. You understand me in a regular module. You know what I mean? With everybody. And that's what I did. So, yes, you know what I mean? During that two seconds that they put me in, that was because of the case that I had. After I waived my rights, they put me right back in North Tower with basically everybody else. What is you saying? I was in High Desert State Prison. Uh, after that, I was in Indian, uh, yeah, Indian Springs. So anybody that wanted to see me or come to me, they could have. But like I said, from the county to prison, my shit was smooth, man. You know, I had a few little run-ins, but it wasn't nothing about my case. You know what I mean? So... I don't even know what you on that for. I wasn't in nobody's PC. Please don't disrespect me like that. No, I was on the main line. Don't do that. I wasn't in fear for my life or any of that. If you really must know, I was doing the same thing that I'm doing now. Dropping game. Yeah. I was 25 years old with niggas in their 30s and 40s calling me OG. So that's what I was used to. My time in prison was different than yours. We totally different. I didn't have the experiences that you had. Uh-uh. I wasn't getting pressed about, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? She don't like the way you've been treating her, and I don't like it either, partner. I didn't I didn't deal with it. I didn't deal with none of that on the yard. Look me up, Philip Brandon Gilmore, 1036381. I was on the main line. Anybody will tell you that. I came in the county pimping. I came in prison. As the pimping, I left out of prison as the pimping. I didn't flip to Muslim, husband, you know, nine to five. No. I came in sinful to pee. I left out sinful to pee. 
That's how I left out. I didn't left out. No disrespect to those that got into Islam, Christianity, or even found holiness, you know, whatever. But no, 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 no. I went in sinful to pee. I came out as sinful to pee. You know, that's how, I, that's how it was with me. So if you're going to tell my story, tell it right. And I'm not tough. I'm not a tough guy. I'm just a man that's willing to die over my manhood and what I believe in. I'm not a gangster. I'm not a violent individual. But I am an individual that can be very egotistical at times. And whatever you stand for, whatever you believe in, if it messes with, you know, my principles and who I am, then yes, me and you will have a problem. But that doesn't make me a violent individual or a gangster or anything like that. That just means that I'm a man. The things that I did in the street, I did it in fear of, you know, I had to maintain my life. I never did anything like Hassan, like Hassan be saying, I was a gangster. I had bodies and no, 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 no. If I ever felt that you would have took my life or uh, did anything, you have to understand my understanding. I mean, uh, from my mind frame, I believe in heaven and hell. And I believe the lifestyle that I'm living is contrary to that which is right. So if I actually thought that you was trying to take my life and put me in hell for eternity, you best believe it's going to be you before me. And it's no disrespect, you know what I mean? But I'm a crip, I'm a blood, I'm a GD, I'm a BD, I'm a vice lord, I'm a gangster, I'm a killer, I got bodies. That don't matter when a person want to maintain their life. That's the difference between you and me. You know? So as far as um, sinful to pee, let me say this for the, what is this channel called? Sheep stay sleep, sleep, sheep, whatever. Uh, no, brother, I never told on anybody. Please don't evangelize false information. Uh, no, brother, you know what I mean? I, I don't have snitching on my name. When I made that comment, I was pretty much saying that, you know what I mean, a pedophile is in the same category uh, as a snitch. Meaning that if you honestly think that this man is a pedophile, why is he living? If you know that this man is snitching, why is he living? According to street law, pedophiles and snitches, they should be killed. So if a man is a snitch, kill his ass. If you, if you call yourself what you call yourself, how does he, how he feel comfortable being in your presence? And you know that this man told, you know this man a snitch. But like I said, I really know the streets for real, for real. And I know you niggas pick and choose your battles. And you pick and choose them wisely. You know what I'm saying? You're not what you think you is. You're just a wise battle chooser. <laughs> you know, I'm a gangster. No, you just pick your battles wisely. That's all. You know, see who you can get rank off of. See who's like, it's almost like some people in the pimp game. You don't want that college educated woman that come from a two parent home that you got to go back and forth with. Most of you don't because you don't have the game to speak to her. You want an easy catch. But what you're not understanding is the same way you caught her, that nines out of 10, that'd be the way that you lose her. If you caught that bitch easy, nines out of 10, you're going to get knocked the same way. You know, but look, man, I just had to clear that up. I just wanted to talk some shit uh, for this whole month. Yeah, I'm on one. I'm on one. Seeing what you mean, I'm a, for this whole month, you're going to get this game. For this whole month, you niggas going to get it. You know, it's not going to be one day out of this whole month that sin don't go live. So please, let me get back to teaching and preaching the game. I shouldn't have to sit up there and roast niggas that's having inappropriate conversations with minors because they speaking on my name. Somebody sent me that shit in my DM and said, P, he don't have no business talking about you. I listened to the conversation I was like, wow. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. That you actually said out of your mouth, you know what I mean? The things that you said within that video. Matter of fact, let me just play just a little bit before I leave of the things that you were saying. Let's get just a little bar. The nerve, the audacity. Yeah, if a girl, you know what I mean? If a woman suck my dick, I'm fucking. 
This come out. This is it. This this is this goofy. Let's see what he. Hold on. Let's get back. See what he talking about. That's why I'm real so, skeptical when it comes to these churches and stuff like that. A lot of them, I'm not I'm real skeptical. Not saying all of them are like that, but you know, you got to really do your research on these pastors and 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 how they come off. He has the nerve to say he got a video over a million views talking about R. Kelly should be in jail. <laughs> Whoo, Lord, 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 Lord. Somebody else, come on, Monty. Uh, Cocoa Butter. Sanetta did say that, but Sanetta also said that that case that he was. I don't want to hear this one. That's a talking. piece of shit to me, man. Hold on, let me go. Anybody back. that supports Simple to P, I'm looking at you, Sanetta. And then they another thing. Another they thing. Hold on. It's important, bro. Polite and others. Another thing I want to say is that they edited the video. Ladies, I do not have herpes. That video that's floating around, I put the whole video on my Sinful to P Instagram videos channel where you can watch it in its entirety if one of the minds would be so kind to go to the Sinful to P Instagram videos channel and get the link from that video so you can watch that in its entirety. It's only like, I think 19 minutes. You will see that I said gonorrhea. I was, as far as the herpes, I was actually speaking about a young pea partner that I, I love dearly that had caught it within his first two years within the game. You know what I mean? That's what I, I was saying. You know, I wasn't speaking on as far as like, hold on for a minute, explain. Yeah, did you watch the video in this entirety? Get this goofy CV saint out of here too. You know what I mean? Like watch the video, uh, bitch. I explained everything in totality. I'm not about to repeat myself because your mark ass is up in here. Um, probably Keisha, that nigga Keisha, he got over like 800 accounts. But yeah, man, you know, I don't have herpes. I've never had herpes. I've never had a sexually incurable transmitted disease. I've never had that. But they want to push that to say, oh my God, how are you going to sit up there and listen to a man that got hurt? I don't have no fucking herpes. Why are these niggas evangelizing false information about my dick? Ladies, do you see how famous my dick is? You got pimps having conference calls about my dick. You got so-called YouTubers on YouTube talking about my dick. Like, my dick is really international around this bitch. In case you ladies didn't know. You know what I'm saying? My dick is really not. It ain't just cross country. It's international now. You know, they talking about my dick. But I just had to give clarity because I don't want false information put out there about my dick. <laughs> but come on, man. It's just crazy. It blows my mind, man. Oh, no. Let's get back to Monty. Let's get a bar with Supposedly you. have his DNA that matches. Then you have another one with Sinful to P, where he's been locked up for pimping, locked up for pandering, locked up for beating on women, and locked up for impregnating a fucking underage girl. Which he got pregnant and the DNA test came back. You are the father. All of this shit is public record. All of this shit is on YouTube from the court documents, everything, court uh, recordings, everything. So this is not a legend. I don't have to say a legend because all of this shit is out there. He took a plea deal. He pleaded guilty to some things, took a plea deal. That's why he was able to escape being on a sex registry list. But it doesn't negate the fact that he fucked an underage girl. He claimed he did not know she had a fake identification card. You yeah, it was deception in my case. But in that conversation we just heard, we, you knowingly knew that this girl was a minor. And everybody can tell that your spirit was perverted. If that young minor wanted to fuck or suck you or let you taste her, you definitely would have did that. Come on. No, when you look at a 13, 14 year old. Notice that when he brings up, talking about some, he talking about he didn't know, but they never bring up the police. They never bring that up. They never bring up the police being deceived. 
But it is what it is. Come on. A girl, if she's a 13, 14 year old, you know it. But oh, that's oh, I didn't know she gave shit a fake identification card. No, no, you knew, motherfucker. You was pimping her. And then how are you supposed to be pimping and you're knocking the girls off? And you're knocking them off raw dog. Knowing they they having sex with random other dudes for money. What kind of man? What kind of pimp does that? Um, a lot of pimps come from the pussy of a hoe, and they are the offspring of a pimp. So pimps do produce children with hoes. Pimps and hoes was having children before you were born, Monty. And you have people, some of our people out here supporting these pedos. They supporting R. Kelly. They supporting Simple to P. They supporting Bro Polite and others. It's just crazy. It blows my mind, man. <laughs> Do you see the hypocrisy? You just heard that nasty conversation with the minor, and look how he's just going in. Like he's just like he's stirred. Like he got a vexation within his spirit. Come on. That shit is crazy as shit to me. That shit's out of pocket, man. Like, like I'm it just that that's why I, that conversation that we just heard was out of pocket. Again, like I tell y'all my other live, I hate niggas because niggas support people like this. I was going on some of them videos and looking at the comments and it was girl with some women in there supporting me. You have women supporting you knowing that this conversation is out and it was a conversation that you didn't want to have around your wife. Well, he still didn't have to... Uh, uh, register as a sex offender. So what you mean? He still fucked her just because he, he, he struck it. You just said that, you know, if, if a woman sucks my dick, I'm definitely going to fuck to somebody that you knowingly knew that was a minor. No fake ID, no lying of age. You know, she said that she was 17 and you don't even really know if she was 17 because you said you said you were 17 last year and the year before that. So she could have been 16 when you said these things. Come on. Dill. Thank you, CA. Appreciate you. He still struck a deal. It doesn't matter. See, a lot of people think because he dodged the bullet of registering as a sex offender, he still did the crime, though. His defense was he didn't know she was 13, 14. That's another thing that these bitch ass niggas be doing trying to make the girl 13, trying to make the case sound worse than what it is. Yeah, I heard she was 12. Five years from now, they're going to say, yeah, man, it was simple to pee. Man, he got a nine-year-old pregnant. Watch what I tell you. Every year, the age goes down. This year, she's 13. Next year, 12. The other year, 11 years old. Do you not understand that the person that y'all talking about you know what I mean? Do you not understand that the individual that y'all talking about is 28 years old right now? She not thinking about y'all. And maybe I might do that in the future. You know, even with all that shit she got. But this, this, you really think that the stuff y'all be saying is important? She don't care about none of that. If I told her to come to Canada now, she would come to Canada. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Please be quiet. You don't know what you're... The reason why we're not together is because our history. I can't be involved with that. Some people might say, well, Pete, that was when she was... And she... It's just, you know, any man would care at the street career. I just can't be involved. She has to respect that. She's an adult now. She's two years from 30, but we just can't be. You know, I want her to be happy, but just not with me. Come on. You know what I mean? Any, any man with common sense would understand with a case like that, you can't get involved with somebody like that and say, oh, you know what I mean? Because even veteran pimps was trying to sway me back 
into taking her back. But I'm, you know, that's another subject. But yes, you had older pimps like, you know, she was a minor at that time. And, you know, I mean, she's legal now and she she uh, matured. She man, we can't be involved. I can't count one dollar from her. We just can't be involved because of that history. It just is what it is. But he still impregnated a young girl. And what saved him was he had a good lawyer and a public defender and no disrespect to John Paris, which was the lawyer. But that's not why. And it's not to, to take any credibility from John. But motherfucker, they had to give me that deal. John was trying to get me to take the fucking 15 to 30. John wasn't no damn. I'm just keeping it 100. It wasn't that John was a good motherfucking lawyer. They had to give me that deal, dumbass. They didn't want that to get out there. They had a fucking minor in motherfucking Adele jail for three days. They had to give me that shit. Especially after I found out that Gigi had sat up there and came up with a fake ID with my grandmother's last name to visit me while she was on motherfucking, you understand me, on probation for identity theft. They was breaking the law all around just to have a conviction from me. They didn't want all that to get around. It's just like an Ocean situation. They had to let Ocean Flemings out of prison because they had fucked up way too much. And I understand Ocean wanted to get back to the streets, so he wasn't even giving a fuck about suing them. But man, if he would have just stood on suing them, I don't know, man. He might have got some meals out that situation. Because you had the DEA fucking this nigga hoes. You sitting over there, they telling, they telling the world you a monster, but this motherfucker behind closed doors in a relationship, you understand me, with your, with your ex ho eating pussy in a relationship, being a boyfriend to your ex ho they come to court saying, your honor, he was abusive, he was this and this, and then after court, He's going to go eat your ex hoes ass and pussy. So it was just too calm. You know what I mean? You know, he should have never been involved in the shit. You know? Yeah, anybody know anything? Just look it up. Ocean Flemings. Oh, you know what I mean? They had to let O go because they did him dirty. He was never supposed to go to prison for that uh, amount of time. I'm glad they let him out, but yeah. They did ocean cold, but they had to let him go. It wasn't because he had such a good lawyer and all of that. No, 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 no. They, they fucked themselves out of fucking him over. They done doing no niggas no favors, you fucking dweebs. You niggas is squares for real. Come on. The other uh, girl, the other girl that he was pimping, she said that the girl had a fake ID too. But then later on, she recanted her story and said, that he, he knew she was young, but it was too late. Once, once that shit. She never said that. That is a lie. Gigi got on the stand and she fucked up with her dumb ass. You know what I mean? I was like, man, what the fuck? She called herself trying to look out for me, but she made herself look dumb talking about some. I said, how old are you? Because you look young. She said that on the stand. And I'm just looking at her dumb ass. I'm like, you already in my mind, like, bitch, you already know I'm not fucking with you when I get out to these streets. I don't know why you trying to uh, take your statement back and trying to get on my side, trying to get some fresh out of prison dick. Bitch, you ain't slick. Bitch, when I get out of this prison, bitch, I'm not, <laughs> you're not getting none of this, bitch. I'm not mad at you. You know what I mean? You did what you did. It is what it is. But no, 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 no. You know, trying to get some fresh out of prison dick. Baby, I'm sorry. I took my statement back. I took my statement back. I got on the stand and I, get your goof ass on. But when it was too late. But the facts are this. He don't have nothing to do with his child. Deadbeat. Woman beater. Got Damn, I don't have nothing to do with my child. Damn, he know more about my life than me. I don't have, I don't have nothing. I didn't even know that, you know what I mean? I'm not going to get into that because of the sensitivity of that individual and what happened, but you guys really don't know. But like I said, just put in Philip Brown and Gilmore. See if you see if I owe child support. See if I ever had to pay child support. It makes you wonder.
Sin said he don't have no children. They said I do got children. But if I do got children and I'm this deadbeat, why am I not paying child support? A baby pregnant. And he's a pimp. Why would real black men want to follow a guy like this that's taking advantage of women with low self-esteem and taking advantage of women that are underage? If, 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 we, if, if we... The same reason why they would listen to a guy try to preach and trying to bring condemnation, fire and brimstone on sinful to pee when we just heard this nasty ass conversation that you knowingly had with a minor, you know, saying that you wasn't going to put her naked pictures out. The same guy that has child porn in his phone. So what the fuck are you saying? Condemn bro polite. You got to condemn motherfucking sinful to pee. And if you're going to deal... If you're going to condemn Brother Polite and Sinful to be, you got to condemn Monty Woodgrain, correct? But we could keep going. I just wanted to give y'all a bar, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just had to give y'all a bar, man. You know, this video didn't got too long. Um, I appreciate y'all, man, for coming through. You know what I mean, man, for giving me your time. I had to sit up there, you know what I mean? But these bitches sitting over here texting me and I did give my word that I was going to do something. <sighs> I want to talk shit, but I got to deal with uh, my friends. Uh, so let me tend to business. Hopefully, man, I could be able to come back. You know, when I, when I come on here, you know, this is like my toy, man. This is like, you know, my free time, man. But, you know, dealing with students, man. Living this square ass life that I'm living with these square ass friends of mine, you know, but I love you guys. I appreciate all the ladies that came through, you know, what I mean, fellas, good looking, man. But make sure, please do this. Stop looking. If you really fuck with me, stop looking at my videos without hitting the like button and sharing it because they share all the lies. They hit the like button on the lies. So I need the volume for the truth to be way higher than them lies. You know? P, we know you bored out there. Man, bro, stop playing with me, man. No, nah, it ain't like that. You know what I mean? But let's just keep it real. In comparison to what I was used to out there, P, you know I'm living like an old man. You know what I mean? I be living like an old man, bro. Sometimes, man, I just be walking around, man, in my robe, just doing consultation. You know what I mean? Everything that I need, I tell them to go get it for me. Sometimes I don't even come out the house, man. Living life like an old ass man, man, at 37. Only time I'm going out, man, is if I'm hitting the gym, Whole Foods, and the bank. Or the mall, you know what I mean? To take them shopping. Not even myself, to take them shopping. You know what I mean? An old ass man. But I love you guys. Hope you live as long as you want. Never want as long as you live. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you hit the like button. Show love. I'm gone. One.